Hi, this is Joseph Arthur. Thanks for checking out Come to Where I'm From. Please support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash come to where I'm from. We are an independent podcast, and any contributions you can make are greatly appreciated. Yeah, let me get one. Boy, let me, bad boy. I want a Guinness. Can you get me one, Poppy? All right. Uh, yeah, when he gets the next round. All right. Man. Man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was the deal. We'll double up on that one. I didn't know that was the deal. Yeah. Yeah. How's hey, it going? I'm in a bar. I can't not have a drink. Yeah, it's Come hard. Come to where I'm from podcast episode 119. It's the best. Vinny fucking stigma. And, and Mike, Mike Gallo. Gallo you. From of Agnostic, Agnostic front. fucking front. What's up? What's right. up? We're, we're we're honored to have you guys. Hh, hey, thank you. We're on the podcast already. All right, this is great. Thank uh, you guys for inviting us. Yeah. yeah. How's yeah. it going? Good. Salute, guys. Salute. 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 The pint. The Guinness is good in here. I gotta say that. Yeah. Salute. It's good to be out. Oh yeah. Have uh, you have you been locked in? I, I mean, pretty much. I mean, I've been out here and there. You know, especially more. You know, in the past um, couple of weeks. Yeah, people have eased up. Yeah, yeah a little I'm bit. cracking. I'm, I'm yeah. gone. You know, I, I mean, I'm over it. I, I'm over it. I don't it. care. Yeah. Give it to me. I I'll tried to do it. this podcast how many times? I already had it. Yeah, I, so did he. I, I already got I, it. I had it too. Yeah. I had the monster. And then uh, uh, I, I was supposed to do the podcast. A friend of mine passed along. Sorry and, about and that. And then uh, I had the COVID. Mm-hmm. And then the storm came. It was like I could the never COVID. get to COVID. I can never get to this. Fucking, I can never get to this podcast. Well, so now man. you're here. It's I'm meant here to now. be. Yeah. I'm here now. Thank you. How was it for you getting over the COVID? It took me from uh, from uh, December fifth to January fifteenth. Uh-huh. I was in my house. Damn. Didn't go out. Have food delivered. Every but closed. Everything delivered. Yeah. And I just stood it, and I tell you, my lungs, I had the, the, the dry cough. Uh-huh. I, my, my legs were going out on me a little bit. That's uh, wild. Yeah, the, my heart, my, my, my liver, I couldn't touch myself. Mm. It was like, wow, this hurts. My body hurts. Yeah. Has it been residual stuff since then? Uh, I guess, you know. I, I, I've been all right. Yeah. You know, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right, too. Yeah. For me, it wasn't that bad. I, I got lucky. Yeah, I'm all it? right, Spider. Yeah. <laughs> is that an issue for you, Vinny, not to touch yourself? Uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah. yeah, it is an issue because I'm so beautiful. I like, like, you know, like I'm a Roman god, you know? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey. Look at that beautiful guy. Look in the mirror naked. I say, Jesus Christ. Yeah. How beautiful am I? <laughs> you yeah. got to go on tour with guys. You still look good without a shirt. Yeah, I, I don't want to see you naked. <laughs> Believe me, I go on tour with guys. I'm like, yeah, yeah. How do women love this stuff? <laughs> a face only a mother could love. Oh, yeah. And you got a face for a podcast, I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but this one's on video. Oh, oh shit. No. Hey, oh, hey. no. But, uh, pro- profiles only. <laughs> I got a Roman nose. It roams all over my face. <laughs> Make sure you get my good side. Yeah, I ain't got a good side. <laughs> I think this is my bad side, but anyway. <laughs> So how's it going? What have you guys been up to now? Are you making a new record, right? Nah. No. no? We no. just did one. Yeah, yeah, we did one just before. <laughs> yeah. we, just, we were just about touring it. Yeah, when last we, summer. Yeah, last we, summer. Last summer. And then Thank it you. dropped later in the year. And then a couple months later, the world shit the bed. This shit happened. Yeah, we played, uh, the last show we played was January 27th, the day Kobe Bryant died. We played the London Academy, mm. sold out. Three tiers, sold out. Wow. It was great. It was a lousy, rainy night in London. You know what they say about England. Come for the food, stay for the weather. Mm. They both suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, had l- I had lunch with the queen the other day. You know what she told me? If I had balls, I'd be the king. Bada boo. <laughs> <laughs> this was ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I would fuck you with her dick. <laughs> um, well, I, I guess I'm we missing out there. We apologize to our UK <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop all of that. Uh, we, no, love, we love the UK. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I love the UK too. Yeah. I lived there for a year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then I came to New York for some kind of industry thing, and somebody said, why don't you live in New York again? And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah. And I moved back. I've been here for like 25 years since. Yeah. London's still shut, locked down. Everything down there is all locked down. Yeah. Man. 
you know? It's extreme. I mean, it's still locked down here in New York, really. Yeah. I mean, you see, it's, it's easy enough, but you feel that way because I guess we're getting used to it, and that's not good. Right. You know, don't get fucked. Don't cuddle to this fucking government, you right. know? Right. Yeah, I agree. They wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. We're here. Go there. Don't. That Fauci, that fucking that. He's a cacaron. You know, cacaron. That means a, a talk, a talk, a talk, a talk. Yeah. Shut up, are you fake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's wild. It's. Uh, I was wondering what you would think about all this stuff, like all this sort of uh, totalitarianism to- tiptoe that David Icke calls it. The uh, yeah. totalitarian tiptoe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oops, I said David. Like that that's gonna get this video Uh-oh. shadow banned. That's By it. the way, please like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where to go shadows over here. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like the ethos of hardcore and what you guys represent is so much about freedom and personal freedom and being who you are and you know It's it's a tough thing because you know, it's just like um I mean, we are living through a pandemic, you know. True. People are dying. There's no yeah. fucking doubt about it. Um, it's just, you know, everybody's got a so, different yeah. outlook. Uh, and, and who's to say who's got all the answers? Like, who's right? You know, you got the anti-vaxxers. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I, I, mean, I think I mean, there's, I there's a little a bit of proof in everything. There's a and little I bit of truth in everything. Yeah. I wore a mask. I stood away, washed my hands, washed my feet, tipped over around the house. I mean, they did everything I had to do. And right. I still caught it. Yeah, I think if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. I mean, you could be, you should be careful. I mean, it's who the fuck knows what's wrong or right. You what, know what, you know I, I mean? just, like, I just don't like the fact that nuanced conversation about it is shut down. It's all this. Yeah, black, I don't like that. Black like that. and white. It's no good. It's That's like no good. Just, it's no like because I agree, it is a thing yeah. we have to deal with. We have to be careful. Uh-oh. We have to protect the yep. older people and right. stuff like mm-hmm. that. Sure. All that, of course. But yeah. any nuanced to conversation be the about is not it, cool. then you're canceled. If you even not question, cool. like, right. hey, but is this Bullshit. vaccine safe? Oh, you can't even say that. Yeah. Like that's already. I shouldn't have yeah. like yeah. said that. Like yeah. you got to be careful about everything you say. And that's you can't bullshit. Just, and you just yeah. can't have a normal yeah. conversation you gotta, about you it. You got to question everything. You got to question you, things. You really, because, yeah. I, mean, I mean, especially us growing up like in the punk rock scene, like that's yeah. what we're question about. Question authority. You, you know? you, that's for sure. And you know? it's like uh, on like it's not hip to question authority all no the time. No way. Fuck yeah. you. It's like it's yeah. cool to like just do yeah. as you're told. Yeah, yeah, no way. No. You remember fuck you, I won't do as you told me? <laughs> right. Oh, uh, well. What, hap- what, what happened to that? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened yeah. to fuck authority? <laughs> what it's, happened to even just being able to question it a little yeah, bit? Yeah, right. A free or mind. Have, or have a to, normal conversation with somebody with, that you don't right, agree with. That doesn't get emotional you know I mean? and like you're a hateful person yeah. if you think like, differently. Yeah, it's right, like, right. It's right. All fucking that stuff. crazy. It's the craziest fucking shit it is, I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah, go tell that to Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Dr. Seuss getting yeah. canceled. Yeah, it's like, come, come on, on man, yeah, really? Crazy. He's I'm, raced like all the places. Get your mind, Uncle Ben's, yeah. Lando Legs. I mean, I did. Hey, what about the pizza guy? I want to get him out, too. I did I'm hear. I'm Italian. I want him out. Who's the pizza guy? You know, the <laughs> fat guy with the Mario Brothers, you know? Oh, okay. Well, I did hear that the <laughs> original title for All the Places You'll Go was going to be all the KKK meetings you'll go to. Oh, oh yeah, sure. But he changed it. So yeah. I'm just that's, joking. That's that was that's 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 just a, a bad joke. That's a bad joke. Just yeah. a it's, bad. It's, you Stick know to your day job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything's too much. You <laughs> know oh, you take crews? <laughs> Uh oh. Every, everything. <laughs> well, he told a bad joke the other day too. What was that? About being uh, in, in uh, Cancun instead of Florida oh. yeah. at CPAC. Yeah. It was just a bit. Stick to your day job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think? Of the like, says so you're like the lifelong New Yorker of all time. You live in the same building for right. for your whole life. That's that's awesome. They should put a plaque, I think, on the uh, front. They should rent the corner. They should put my name on the corner. Like on the street, like Joey, away. like Joey Ramon yeah. got a street. You need. Yeah, a street. I need, it. and I'm from here. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta wait till he drops dead. Yeah, yeah. You know, they nah, let's that. let's honor him before <laughs> that, so okay, he can enjoy. Please no, please not yet. Stick yeah. We ain't done with you yet. Not yet. Man, I was watching the documentary um, last night. And what a what a great thing that is like a love story about brotherhood and it's just so emotional and uh, beautiful really like yeah, I'm, thank not, you. I'm not yeah, overstating right. that no either. it was uh, yeah it was Godfathers different. Godfathers of Hardcore. Oh my for those god, of you who want to go watch, watch it. that? It is like an amazing amazing documentary about thank people you. overcoming their situations and making a great life for each other as brothers and coming out of like 
coming, coming out of, out of pandemics. Mu- coming out of pa- yeah. pandemics of the yeah. mind and right. ab- mm-hmm. abusive households and doing and starting a movement that actually has like been a lifelong pursuit. It's, Forty years. It's a beautiful story. It'll be for, we're going to celebrate our fortieth anniversary. You know, I used to change Willie Nelson's diapers back in the day. You know, forty <laughs> years on the road. Hey, what's the last thing you want to hear Willie Nelson say after you give him a blowjob? Uh, pass that joint. I'm not Willie Nelson. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to your day job. I told you that before. Because then just a dirty, you just gave a dirty hippie a blowjob. Nah, nah, nah. that's, that's that joke. Just for the people that don't get it. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get it tomorrow. You'll not saying laughing. Willie Nelson's a dirty hippie, but you know what I mean. Willie Nelson's a god. Yeah, oh, yeah. nah, well, we're a big fan. We're a big fan. Yeah, too. absolutely. Love Willie Nelson. I played in a movie one time called uh, uh, New York Blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one of my movies the I movie do. Movie star, you know. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I want to thank all the little people out there while I'm at it. Anyway, I played the matinee. My movie that played the matinee, uh-huh. and Willie Nelson's movie played the the main night, eight o'clock at night. And his limousine was parked outside, and uh, you could smell the weed. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Willie's a lifelong weed head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not much. You don't do no. drugs. Well, no, I'm not you, really. You never I, did that. Nah, you know, I take a puff of weed. I smoke. I'm a cigar and wine guy now. Yeah, I like I like a cigar. Cigar yeah, and wine. You like wine. your weed? Yeah, I you know, just I have a little bit of weed. Go oh, get yeah. right up. You want some? Yeah. <laughs> you do. You know what? You know what the funny thing is? Like he'll be like, "Hey, Gal, roll a joint." I ro- uh, all right, I roll a fucking joint. Whatever, you know. He takes one puff and he leaves. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, know, you make me fucking roll this joint. I, I, I smoke, but not like, uh, like yeah, you know. It only right. tastes like I hit it too. You just want to touch. Yeah, I want to taste it. You know, I do it for taste. The I'm older you get, I just want a light bit yeah, of everything. Yeah, yeah, right. You're you right. Know? You know, I, I used to I wake up craving uh, weed. I wish I could say for myself. Yeah. <laughs> now oh, I wake really? up <laughs> waiting to get to make some pains out. <laughs> yeah. So when did that documentary come out? About two years ago, yeah, a year right. ago. two years, years ago. Right? Because the COVID's a year. And, yeah, and yeah, did you see? Did you see a lift for the band? And yeah, sort you know of that's interest? the crazy fucking thing is, we had a lot of stuff going on. We had the movie. Roger put a book out. Okay. We did a new record. Yeah. And we were fucking torn our balls off. Yeah, we were really you know, out we there. We were really starting to kind of gain a little more momentum and uh, you know, revival. You know, the people were coming out a little bit more. It was, it was getting, it was good, you know, it was really great. We had, you know, the momentum was going. We were just killing it. And then just, you know, we, we did all that hard touring so we can kind of fucking, you know, get where we were at. And then it's just like, it's like all that work for fucking. It's, just hard it's to, everyone. It's know? a lot of, it's I all, mean, all it's the bands. You know and what then mean, but, don't forget, we do Save for the Stages. And don't forget, there's bartenders, barbacks, sound mm-hmm. man, light mm-hmm. man. Uh, I mean, go, the list goes on. Roadies, techs, yeah. you know, the so musicians, people the people that want to go and have a fucking good time. How about them, you know? <laughs> so uh, it, it's really, it, it really bothers me. It's the first time in 40 years Agnostic mm. Front hasn't played in a year. Right. In 40 years? This yeah. is not, I, you know. Really? It, it, yeah. Did you guys do any live streams? Uh, except for when Roger went to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you go with into Jesse Mallon's club and do a live stream with? We Avery? did. Oh, you we did, did that. it. We oh, did cool. that. But it was yeah. a stigma. Was stigma. Show. Stigma. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah um, everybody's all over the place. Roger's as, in Arizona. Yeah, and as a matter right. of fact, we're doing one on uh, the twentieth of March. Mike, you want to say set that up? Yeah, we're we'll do it. Well, we're recording it then. I think okay. it's gonna come out another time. All right, whatever. Exactly. And it's gonna be live. So Is it you- agnostic? <laughs> no. Oh. No. I better stop Stay rehearsing. Right I'm the worst. You don't uh, like to rehearse? Oh, I love it. Oh yeah. It's just that you know I'm out of shape from the COVID. Blah blah blah. Oh, look out of shape, Vinny. Yeah, you yeah, look good, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, for me to be, you know, because I'm such a god, you know. Yeah. That I never get out of shape. Yeah, it's a different. It's a different level. I don't want to brag, everybody. No, you know, for guys you know. like us, it's a different level. Right. We, you know, we, I carry a mirror around <laughs> so I can look at myself every now and again. <laughs> you got to. So have you been able to touch yourself again? Or? Yes, I'm touching myself right now. Thank God. In all the right spots, too. <laughs> Anyway, it's been like, you know, a long time since, you know, we, we played and, you know, it's been a while since I did the, the Jesse Malin thing. I think. You know, so uh, we, we never rehearse. So we do it by memory, muscle memory, and, and you know, I'll, maybe a little blah, blah, blah. Let me go over a song quick. Yeah. You know, and, you know, uh, we can never practice. huddle it. You know, There's get always somewhere that can't make it. 
So now I say, you know what? We've known these songs for years. Yeah. We've been playing our instruments for years. We've been doing this like, go home, fucking Rehearsal. practice, practice, and then come out, and whatever comes out of it comes out. Uh, Who cares? Right. It's yeah. punk rock. It's we, punk we're rock. We're a fun band. We're not... Yeah. We don't get paid for this shit. Yeah, no, yeah but we, we want to do it right. We, we pull we it off we get somehow. Rid, we I don't know play, how. We get rid of the other guys. You know, we go do yeah. our own thing you know, yeah. for a minute. You know, yeah. it's fun. The, the spirit lifts you when you're in the moment. Oh I, yeah. I, every time before I go on stage, I'm like, how am I gonna do this? I can't do yeah, this. Right? And then somehow. Yeah. It's just the energy yep. and the crowd and the whole thing. It takes yeah. off. That takes last flight. night when I played the London Academy, the night Kobe Bryant died, mm -hmm. it was the last night of the tour. I was exhausted from yeah. the tour, you know? Right. So many nights in a row. We never have a night off. Yeah. So, but the last night, I throw it and I leave it all on stage. Yeah. And right he after pukes that. and everything. Yeah, I throw off For and real? everything. Yeah. I mean, a lot yeah. of times. <laughs> a lot yeah. of times. I what? fucking leave from it all nerves? there. He pukes no, on stage out all of time. exhaustion. Out of exhaustion. Yeah. Puking from ex Does like athletic puking. Yeah. Oh, you eat too much. Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I heard you on an interview well, saying. you know what? I'm a Gavone. Yeah. That's why I eat too much. I'm a Gavone. What, what's that mean? That means a, gl a glutton. Oh, a glutton. Yeah, oh, okay. In Italian. Yeah, yeah. So, because you, you were Total talking gavone. in one. Total gavone, you were talking right. in one podcast. It was like, I eat healthy. I eat lots of pasta. And I wanted <laughs> to say. Do you know that's carbs, Vinny, and it turns into sugar? Not to like. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just but, saying, you know what? Like, he does eat healthy. <laughs> yeah, no, clearly. He it. actually does. I mean, you know. I he, mean, he. It's funny because I don't uh, eat today's healthy. Right. No, I eat yesterday's healthy. But no, he. <laughs> <laughs> he does eat healthy. Yeah. He eats at the right times. Uh huh. He don't eat at night. I eat you at know, night. Uh, I'm a fucking night. I don't eat junk food because there was no eater. junk food when I was a kid. Yeah. There's only potato sticks and potato chips. That was it. I know. You said potato sticks in <laughs> that other interview, too. I thought, and, I re and then made me want to have some potato yeah, sticks. Right? I'm like, yeah. I ain't had a potato yeah. stick. No, do they even make long... them anymore? I don't know. Where's yes, some potatoes? Hey, who? Get us some potato what? sticks. What? Skinny <laughs> sticks. They you know, they're like potato chips, but they're sticks. They're sticks. Yeah, I remember those. They're great. Then cheese doodles came after that. I was like, yeah. The original cheese. Uh, thing where you get all yellow in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Your teeth get yellow, orange. Yeah. That orange. garbage. You know, the wild thing about that documentary is it's just so full of love. And you, and just, I think people have this intimidation factor with, uh, with hardcore, with hardcore yeah. and agnostic front. And they yeah. would think it's this like dark energy, but yes. it's actually coming from this loving space. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I'm a neighborhood guy. Right. I live a few blocks away from here. I grew up and everything like that, right? Yeah. I was born in St. Clair's Hospital. Mm -hmm. December, Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. West Side, December 3rd, 1955. Yeah. The world will never be the same. Vinnie Stigma, the new claim to fame! Woo! See, how do you write a song? <laughs> anyway, my mom lived right here on Thompson and Sullivan. Mm -hmm. You know, nice. and she got married in the church over there. On St. Anthony's, the yeah. first Italian cathedral. On Houston. On Houston, the first Italian cathedral in America. Yeah, I used to go to, yeah, anyway. Anyway, whatever, <laughs> you know, there. so I'm from here. <laughs> and I got that neighborhood kind of thing. Yeah. Even though I was a punk rocker, you know what I mean? Dealing with all these fucking weirdos yeah. and everything. I didn't mind, I don't care. Yeah. Nothing, mo nothing bothers me because I'm, I'm from here. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't care. I hung out. I, I used to hang out in Chinatown. I had a lot of Chinese friends. They all used to come see me at Max's Kansas City when I was hanging out in Chinatown. And they were the coolest. They had the coolest punk rock. Hey, all my Chinese friends. Because mm. it's black and yeah, spiky. It's already and black. They put the, yeah, and it's got the, the, the glasses and the, the, the collar up. I can Yo, see Chow that. Young Fat ain't got shit on them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, man. Um, what was I going to By the say? way, Gonkai Fa Choi, it's Happy New Year for everybody, for all our, uh, our Asian Chinese people. Chinese New Year. How was Chinatown back in the 80s? It was good. I used to hang out with the Ghost Shadows then. Who were I, those? Th that was a Chinese gang. The Dragons, the Chinese. They, I, they were my guys I hung out with. I got pictures with them. I can't find the one picture. How'd you, how'd you get started on guitar? Like, what, how old were you when you started? Uh, I was about 14, 13, 14. And uh, I always wanted to play guitar because my uncles play guitar. So they used to get me an acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. So I used to get the acoustic guitar. Three, four days later, I'd be smashing it. I want a fucking electric guitar. You smashed it? 
I no. smashed it. No, you did. And I'm did sorry you? I did because there probably weren't money those guitars today. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. A Martin from you know? 1940. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah I know. The, the, really, right. believe me, I've been there. 100 grand yeah, or something. 100 grand guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And I, and I love the idea of you're growing up and you're live, all your family's in the same building and the doors are open and you're going in and out and the family is like supporting you and yeah. everything that's I, cool i i really miss that because it's not that way no more right you got a yeah. french guy living yeah, in your grandma's yeah, place yeah still there I, I don't think i'm talking to them anymore oh know. really yeah i don't know why i just don't want to talk to strangers anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you because you know you, you try to be, be nice to people and they don't you know they yeah. don't reciprocate. reciprocate reciprocal yeah right and they don't do it yeah. so you know fuck you Right. Did you have any siblings or anything? No, no? Mike. He's my. <laughs> yeah. Well, you clearly have brothers now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, do. I got friends, and you know, thank God for that. Yeah. So, and were your folks together, or was, what was it like growing up? Yeah, you know, I had the family thing, the Italian thing, you yeah. know, and the Sunday dinners and all that. Yeah. And by the way, Mario's mother, Mario, the, 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 what do you call that guy? Not Mario. The, the pizza guy Andrew, again? Andrew Cuomo's mother's meatball suck. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm telling you that right now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and you, fuck the I got beef. Did you try that? That fucking idiot. <laughs> he fucking eats pizza with a knife and a fork, that other uh. moron. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him in the face when I see him, motherfucker. I gotta need a step stool. <laughs> That's funny, man. And then, how old were you when you started the band? I was 27. Oh wow, you were like yeah, uh, I was already old. You were already old. You were already at yeah. the rock and roll death. Yeah, so age. we had 40 to that, and I'm really fucking tired. Really, 27? I was 27 when I started. That's all wild. Those videos, you look 16. Well, he yeah. looks still. Look, the I mean, body of a god. I was telling right. you that before. You know. <laughs> I mean, how old are you now? I'm 65. And that's amazing because you yeah. look great. I, w I wanted to see the Mohawk. Is the Mohawk still in flex? Oh yeah. Nice. See. So the New York Scott. hardcore. Oh, oh, you got yeah. that tat recent. Yeah, right? yeah. I got it at the uh, Sophia hardcore. Can I see it real quick? It looks good. That yeah. looks dope. Sophia Hardcore Tattoos did it. Yeah. They're, they're our brother's shop out looks there. cool. My friend Alex and, and the, the fellas. Do the plug. Want to do the plugs now? Yeah, do the plug. Yeah, do the plug. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, what do we got? Kings? Come on, talk. Kings never Come die. Come on. Kings do, do never die. Out. They drop dead, but they don't die. <laughs> they, they're putting out a new record soon. We got yeah. Danny Schuler on the drums with them. Yep. I told the guys I'm going to give them a plug. Who are you talking about? The Kings? The Kings of... Kings of Nothing. They call... <laughs> Come on, you got to give us the Kings, whole name. Kings Never Die. His name Kings is Never Die. Yeah. And it, my brother Steve is doing a new band called Fire is Murder. Yeah. Got to plug him. Got a really cool thrashy, hardcore mm. type thing. Actually, really good band. That's cool. Really cool. Steve's really, really got good. talent, not really like good. Mike. Mike, yeah. they're, they're brothers, but Steve's got all the talent. Uh -oh. He can play drums. He can play guitar. He can play bass. He can sing. Better than me, Mike, and everybody else in the room. Well, he's a fucking painter. Oh, what a scotch. <laughs> Talented people are always oh, pains in the ass. what a pain in the ass. They, they really are. That comes with talent. Yeah, and I oh, love like, oh, that guy's a great guy. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, you go on tour with him. After two months, you want to fucking choke him. <laughs> That's what I got me. We love you, Greg. No talent, but they like me. All right, he's good yeah. enough. All right, yeah. get him in. <laughs> So you yeah, oh, Mike couldn't even play the bass when he joined the band, oh, right, no, Mike? Oh, he couldn't even tune up. It's oh. true. Well, yeah. that, that's, that's, kind, right. that's kind of like the way bass players and hardcore bands are. I mean, Sid Vicious, yeah, that was right? punk rock, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you know. Same sort of thing. Yeah, the bass players is like, you know, he'll learn. You know, yeah. just follow like yeah, the, they're like know. free range you chickens. Want your friend you know? on the in, 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 uh, on tour. Were you, know? you a fan before you joined? Ah. Major? Yeah, I mean, Major. I mean, of course, yeah. So how did that I, You know what, what happened was um, we, we... I liked them. We, you know what? Our, my old band, On The Rise, was a small little hardcore band. We did all right for a minute, but um, we met these guys through the studio that we both... Re they recorded... Um, the Big Epi Blue Mimi. The, the, yeah, the Big Blue Mimi at the Epitaph Records. Somebody turned us on to the studio. We went there. We met the guy. The guy got a kick out of us. Ah, oh, you're a hardcore band. Agnostic Front records here. Hey, he said, actually, you know what? You ever meet those guys? And we're like, oh, no, you know, I'd love to meet them. You know, we were fucking little kids, you know? And uh, he's like, you know, we're going to have a party. He's like, Agnostic Front, they're going to be here. Come here. Come hang out. We're like, yeah, fuck yeah. All right, cool. 
We went there, we met them, and the next thing you know, I was in the fucking band. That's <laughs> awesome. Right. I like Mike I mean, from uh, the minute I met him. I mean, honestly, really, like, you just know. I mean, like two years Sometimes. later, I was in the band. Yeah. Kind it's an of. energy thing. Just, yeah. you know, Chemistry. You know. We all hit it off. You know, we just hung out. We seen him at shows, and yeah. I just, you know, we got along and just. That's I, cool. I mean, I'm in the band 20 years now. Wow. Yeah, That's man. amazing. Yeah, Time flies. Right, right, now, right, right now. Right now, I know, because my mom died September 15th, right after September 11th. Mm. It should be dead 20 years. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. See, more than Italians. We always live with the dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Even when you're not Italian. Yeah, I know. You know, they're all around I us. I know. And then you, we'll be them. You, you one eat day. their food. You 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 live for their with their wisdom. Yeah. You know what I mean. And and then, let's hope you pass it on in a Do good way. Do you communicate with her? Yeah, all the time. I go to church. Mm. Usually curse out the fucking neighborhood. You know. <laughs> yeah. I pray for that. We pray for this fucking people to drop dead. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry about that. I really didn't. Later on, you could kill him later. <laughs> hurry Just up. make him suffer. A yeah, lot. hurry up. Kill that motherfucker. How many times? How many Hail Marys I got to give? That's funny. And not, and you go to church, but your band's called Agnostic. Yeah. Front. Very cool band name, by the way. Yeah, well, it's more of a statement than a, a name, like the Beatles or Blondie or the Clams or whatever the fuck you want to name. <laughs> You know? Yeah. It's more Clam. of a state. I like the clam. Yeah, I like the Vinny Clams. I like that. <laughs> the clams. Clams on the head shell, everybody. <laughs> Cl Euphoria Clam Yard Morning could be like the first <laughs> album. I don't know why. <laughs> it works. Did so your well. mom, was your mom proud of what you Wait, were doing? Finish the name. What's oh, that? Agnostic Front. Oh, you know, yeah. I was just saying that it was more of a statement yeah. than a name to a band. Finish it. So, you know, and yeah. I, I didn't want, like I said, I didn't want the name like the Blondie, the car. It meant question things. Exactly. Up front. Yes, right. Right. You're not, allowed, you know? you're not allowed to question anything anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Well, not, I'm like, not I'll deplatform you. You're already, we, we're all we're already, already canceled. canceled. Yeah, right. We need platform just, shoes. We got the platform we've shoes. We've already just canceled ourselves anyway. Uh, so it's yeah. like. It's good to get canceled with some of my friends. You know what? Might as well. If if I'm, like, well, I'm going like, to get canceled, it might as well be with you guys. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> So, like, was your mom into the band, or what? How did she respond to it? Yeah, no, because you know she wanted me to get up, go to go to work, and mm -hmm. you know, like, I got a union job. I used to work down the fucking docks right over here on the, uh, West Street, mm. uh, seventy five Varick Street. Okay. Before you go into the tunnel, yeah, there's that long I thing. It. I was the boss of that. Wow. Yeah, somebody got. <laughs> yeah, somebody got me a job. <laughs> and they were jealous that I, you Yeah, what are you being Why? jealous of me, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> did he not have that job? What? No, I did have no, that job. No, he did he have did. that job. Oh. oh, that was my the job. The story's hilarious. That's why I'm laughing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I'm, I'm the best boss you're ever going to have. Right. You take numbers here. Put, put $2 on five. Number five, Brooklyn. Yeah, you drink. Go in the back. Here, go ahead. Don't go drink. You go ahead. Get, get out of here. Go home early. Cool. These guys couldn't stand that I was... I used to come in. This is the punk rock days now. Mm. I'm talking the 70s, yeah. you know? I used to come in, blood, makeup, lipstick all over me, <laughs> pock my hot rod, <laughs> boom, bang it, come on, <laughs> stoned out of my mind. Fucking, and, and I used to run the dock there. Wow. I had the guy who used to do it for me. Yeah, you do. So somebody, like I said, somebody got me the job, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to go. But I go anyway. To, oh, it's one of those. Yeah, I didn't have to, but I go anyway because I didn't want to hear it, my mother. Because, yeah. Coffee, Charlie got you the job. You know, all right, I'll go. And I go, and then these guys hated me that I was like, I broads come up to fucking visit me. Careful, careful, <laughs> man. This is what you gotta you're be careful. careful. I've gone back 40 years now. This is what you're careful He's about. Be careful. Uh, I'll go back 40 years. <laughs> and, and, you know, anyway. The, the day I left, I cracked a few guys' heads open, uh -oh. and I went on tour, and I never turned back ever since. And you know what? They wind up getting a real boss after that. Mm. You can't drink. You can't leave early. You can't do this. And you can, all right, you got it. Mm -hmm. The now. kid's gone, motherfucker. How, how I'm you out like there me now? How you like me now? <laughs> Is there a Vinnie plaque in that building? Yeah, there should be. <laughs> Employee of the month. Yeah, they threw a guy down an elevator. I don't know what happened, but he didn't pay somebody money. I never forget. You I know, wanted the elevator to go all the way down. Oh, what did you have? You get crushed? What happened there? I didn't know. 
So how come it took you till you were 27 to form Agnostic Front? Well, I was always in other punk rock bands. Right. Before that, you know. And uh, it was changing. I was from the old when glam mm. turned into punk and then punk turned into hardcore. So I was through all those jumps. Right. So I kept making the jump from this jump to that jump. And if it wasn't me, it was the other guy. He didn't show up. I don't know. Said like your brother. They go to rehearsal. There's a story. So finally, I got the. I started the band. Finally, I was with the Eliminators in in the punk rock days. We used to play Max's. What year is that? 78, 77, 78, 79. Right. Mm-hmm. And I remember 1979. Wow, you were right there. Oh, I was right there. Yeah. I was right there. I uh, I never forget, 70, uh, 78 or 79, I was standing on the corner of A7 dressed as a droogie. That's 40-something years ago. Yeah. You know, I was, and I never forget it. I, and my friend kept telling you know, it's going to be the 80s soon. It's going to be the... I'm like, okay, I got time. I can wait. That's crazy. Now, like, the one thing I love about living here, one of the things I love, the many things, is like... Being here so long, I go down streets and I remember like 20 years ago and have mem- there's memories all over the city. For you, that must be extreme. Yes, it is. But th- there's also times when I walk past a construction site and I say, I don't remember what was there before. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, ah. If I pass it and it was normal, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But now that it's gone and I haven't passed it in a couple of months or maybe a year or two, mm. or whatever, I'm like, wow, what was there? And so I see, and like, I see the skyline change. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's burying me little by little. Yeah. Well, you're, you keep crawling back. Yeah. Keep, I'm like, I'm so like, when did you meet Roger? How'd that go? I met him. He used to come to CBGB's. And I, and I, he used to be a nice guy yeah. in the pit, and I used to dance, you know, mosh it up, and he'd be moshing up, and he was a nice guy, and I'm I, like I mosh alongside this guy, and we had fun, and that was it. So I says I sent the kid over to him. I says, he says I said my friend did it over to him. He says, hey, Vinny wants you in the band. He says, be there tomorrow night, eight o'clock at the, the studio. But a boom, he shows up. And that was it. And that's where the love affair, me and Roger, started. And what year was that? Uh, 82? 81, 80, 82. 81, 82. That's great. You know what's one of the crazy things when I was watching that doc is his tattoo of Jesus on the cross. Right. It looks like Jesus has a mask on. Yeah, he's got like a... a yeah. Yes, man. Like yeah. he, uh, you know, it's just like, wow. That, that seems... was very art- agnostic. Yeah. yeah. That artwork, that style. We got another one with Jesus on the cross with the guy holding his head up with a chainsaw. Oh. A real cool plier. Mm-hmm. Like we had the cool... I, I, I like our flyers, you yeah, know? Yeah, cool artwork. You guys used to mint your own shirts. At, Make our own shirts. Like what, like what is it called when you do that? Silk screen. Silk, Silk screen. screen. Yeah, yeah. I, we use it all over my building, all, yeah. all throughout the building. The banisters, they'd be hanging, Yeah, you know? And all my, my grandmother was alive, and she'd be cooking, and like come out in the hallway, we eat while we were screening. Yeah, it's like people don't understand how industrious you have to be to have a life of creativity. Yeah, you got to be on top of it, you know. You know, because uh, right after this, I'm going to get off this uh, podcast and go to tweet myself to fame. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. Today. Right. They think, oh, I'm going to throw out a tweet. Maybe it'll catch fire or go radical. What do they call it? Viral. viral. Go viral. I All wish right. it was called go radical. Yeah, right. That would be better than viral. Yeah. Especially nowadays. Yeah. Who needs viral <laughs> nowadays? Fuck that shit. Yeah. That's funny. That's great. Yeah. That's a good one. What do you remember about the transition from punk to hardcore back then? I remember a lot of times when uh, the older punks didn't want to make the jump. And uh, they were like, when the newer kids came around. You know, they were like, like shunned them or like, we're like, where were you? Blah, 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 you know what I mean? Hey, hey, ho, ho, wait a minute. They're with us now. Right. We need them. Yeah. You know, because, and to these people that did that, where were you today? They'll come out maybe once if Cheetah Chrome comes once a year or something stupid like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not going to be there to see your band that I meet you tonight and say, hey, Vinny, my band's playing two weeks from now. You think you're... Yeah, I'll be there with bells on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or see some band, some young kid, your daughter's friends maybe, or whatever. I'll be there. You, 
that's how you met me. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, you know, that's how you got to be there for the younger generation. Yeah, know? but for you, it's a religion, I feel like. Oh, yeah. It's a way of life, a religion. Yeah. It's, you know, something I, I like to do it. Yeah. I have a responsibility, I feel, now that I'm an elder. Mm -hmm. I have a responsibility, you know, to be there if they need amps, if they need guitars, if they need string, whatever, to, you know, I'm going to be there. To support it. Support. I'll be on the microphone, uh, like at a podcast, saying, hey, I like this band, my friend's daughter's band, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to do. Because you understand it comes back around. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do these things. What's a trip is that when you were playing CBGBs and Hilly would just leave you guys the club and oh, you, yeah. you guys would take it over. And oh yeah, because Hilly liked Roger. Roger worked there, yeah. you know, and he knew we were honest and good. There was no fooling around like that. You know what I mean? We would never leave them the club for what? That he would just like, like they would Rehearse. load in. They would say what's up, and then Hilly would fuck off yeah, and yeah. trust them to just like run the door, run the whole club. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah, we yeah. ran that place like you know. And then you put on your own show, and we put yeah. on our own shows. Yeah, that's that so independent it, spirit. Yeah, and who we, were the bouncers? Or did you? We were, need, the you were the bouncers. We were the bouncers. You know. What a scene. Yeah, we, we we didn't need bouncers because we were our own. It's like when the place does have bounces, let's say Lemoore's yeah. back in the day. Now, a kid gets on stage, don't throw him off, usher him off. Right. You know, you got to usher, like, come on. Yeah, you right. you, you know, don't have to be they, violent. You don't have to throw him where he's going to crack his fucking head open. Yeah. You know, and you be an asshole, and then there's going to be a beef. The kid wants to come up, dance around him for a minute. Usher them off. Right. They're like, all right, come on, come on. You, you, they you get had it. your fun. They get it. They've, and then that's how a bouncer or a security guy can communicate with the fans or the kids. Right. Because they feel, oh, this guy's cool. He's not an asshole. Yeah. Like, all right, look, you know, you got to come, you know, come up. You, you, you got to go, you know, next guy, right, come on, next. You know, and the kids feel one with that. They feel like, oh, he's the big guy. He's really cool. He's cool with the bands. There's a, a little in between the band, the barrier, the the security guy or the bouncer and the fan mm -hmm. or the people. Yeah. So there's that little buffer vo zone that I always try to erase yeah. because we have to be with the people. That's no, I'm on stage. You're on stage with me. Yeah, and the the bouncer or guy whatever has to realize that in the beginning they didn't realize this they didn't know how to handle this. Well, and also you guys have are making such an aggressive sound, and the whole vibe is aggressive on a level. But also you guys are coming from love. So how much did you get misunderstood as you were going? Well, that's why we we wind up uh, secure uh, doing our own security. Right. Because, because people would over. We would, and besides. If you're doing my, my, the kids know you, eh, yeah, they, you know, it's cool. Nobody's going to fuck with you because they know you. Right. Uh, and you're just keeping people away from the amps or whatever you're doing, keeping the stage a little whatever. Yeah. That's all. It's no big deal. Everybody, they come here, they pay money, they want to have fun. They want to be part of this. And they, they, they deserve to be part of this. Did you guys were, you, were did you have friendships with people like the Ramones or anything like uh, that or any, not, any? Joey not friendship friendships right. acquaintances I would say yeah. the last time I, I saw Joey was uh, he was in my tattoo shop mm -hmm. the night it really snowed and uh, he had sneakers on and there was a lot of snow outside and I said to myself like you know he's got sneak you know it's snowing <laughs> like you know he broke his leg that night. Damn. That was the night he broke his leg. Fuck. I'm like, did I curse this guy? I don't know. <laughs> I toured with Marky Ramon when he was in uh, yeah. The Misfits, yeah. you know, and, you know, whatever. He got to be friends with him and whatever. I put a bacala on his bass drum. What about Bad Brains? Did you run into those guys? Uh, you know, we, we played, not really. We They were a headliner band. We were a headliner band, you know. They, did you have any kind of, like, band beefs with other bands nah, or not like really that? you know like not me i was never a beefer yeah you know me people might have had beef with me but i never had beef with anybody because <laughs> i'm a happy motherfucker how do you keep happy what's do, your what's your secret my se just do what you like yeah you know to be happy you don't like some don't do it 
Right. You don't like to eat this? Don't eat it. You're hungry? <laughs> you eat. You're tired? You sleep. Right. You don't like your, the, this guy? Change the channel. Eliminate it from your life. Yeah, you that's all. And everyone has a right to their own opinion, too. So you got to give res In order to get respect, you got to give respect. Right. So there's a, a little thing there, you know? It's so you know, simple, but it's so, it's so, it's so hard for so many people. Yeah, just... Nobody can grasp it. Just right. respect it. You don't yeah. like it? Okay. If it isn't vile and, like, you know, like, bad, uh, that's another thing. But, like, an opinion or music or what have you, a social thing or a religious or... Take, 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 let it go. Right. You know, Chinese New Year's. I'm celebrating Chinese New Year's. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Kwanzaa, I celebrate that too. Even though I'm older than Kwanzaa. Yeah. Yeah, because that was some uh, ideologues uh, in 1961 invented this holiday. Yeah. But I've been celebrating that before they invented it. And I do it every day. Every day. Celebrate life. Celebrate life. Yeah. I don't care if it's Jewish, Catholic. I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll eat the food, I'll respect the religion, I'll respect the people, and, and because half of them are my friends anyway. Right, and we live in a melting pot. And we pot. live here, we live in America. You gotta yeah. live, you gotta accept. Everybody's yeah. got their own thing. You yeah. know what I mean, some people... I enjoy doing different things, eating different foods and di different people. Yeah. You know, I don't know why people don't, you know, why you wanna isolate yourself from any of that. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's to me. crazy. I mean, you know, we've been all over the world. I mean, we got friends from fucking Bali mm. to um, Japan to fucking. It's crazy the amount of different people. Yeah, we New York meet, hardcore you know? is worldwide. It's it great, really is. You know, you get to see different cultures. You get to eat different food. It's an amazing you meet, benefit. You meet so many good people from all over the yeah, world. Yeah, it really and, is. I got so many friends, you know, and I miss them so great. much. You know, like yeah. this last year. Yeah, it's, yeah. It sucks. It's I, gonna make us more grateful though for oh, yes. it when we're back on the road. Oh, next definitely. Time. Yes, I'm we'll, gonna hug all my friends and yeah. never let them go. Yeah, we won't take it for granted. No way. No yeah. way. I had cancer. I had oh, two uh, colorectal uh, operations. Wow. And, you know, uh, I, and after these operations, I said to myself, yeah, I'm going to live every day, you know, and I appreciate life. And I do. But you do get complacent mm -hmm. every now and again. So I always kind of check myself. Like right now, I'm checking myself. Mm. You know, so you got to enjoy every day. It's you true. Know? And to anyone out there that's like depressed or anything like that, Please, don't worry. It'll pass. You go out there, enjoy life, enjoy. You like something? Go do it. Right. You don't like something? Don't do it. Find a friend. Find an outlet. Uh, find a hobby. Do something. Talk to somebody. But don't keep it inside. And, uh, come on. Join the party. Yeah. It's good, man. I mean, it's that's it's hard for people to do. I I work hard on just getting my state of mind in a good place. Like yeah. that's like half my day I spend. Most you know, mm -hmm. just like oh, let me go. I went on a run today. Right. Then, then I meditated. You know, and, right, it, and all right. that stuff is hard to do. Like because sure. you don't like your gravity is just so like let me yeah, just it, lay around and right. do nothing. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Gra Gravity's heavy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gravity's very heavy, and I'm getting heavier too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, Fatso, hey, Fatso, what's going there, you fat boy? Not you, Fatso, the other Fatso. It's crazy because, you know, it's just like, oh, it just, it's just a wild time. Just, I we'll like get through this. Off, you know? yeah. We will get through this. Yeah, we oh, will. Yeah. And we'll be better for it. Yeah. So stay the course, everyone. You know, yeah. don't worry. We'll get through this and come out of it with something. You know, come out of it with a positive. Come out with it stronger. Yeah, yeah definitely. Are you cancer-free now? I hope so. Yeah. I had two operations. They had, they had to go in again. Uh -huh. I had a little Arab doctor, right? Mm -hmm. So I go in. I had my his Mike's brother-in-law is my uh, the primary doctor. Dr. Okay. Dave. Dr. Dave. Great guy. <laughs> I went to him because I wouldn't, you know, go anybody else to check, you know, over there, you know. You right. know. It's, it's an awkward thing. Yeah, right. It's awkward. Checked. I'm leaking oil. So yeah. I go, I know Dr. Dave. It's his brother-in-law. So I go. So he checks me out. He says, Vinny, you're gonna go. Because if you're gonna die, you're not gonna die from this. I don't care if you die. 
but you're not going to die from that. I said, you don't care if I die. He said, but you're not going to die from that. So I go. I go to this doctor, this Arab guy, mm -hmm. right? Little guy. He, he gave me an operation. So he tells me, I hear you're some kind of a rock star. I said, I, 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 just, I just make music, you know? Yeah. He said, yeah, yeah, okay. But, you know, and I had to go back to him a couple of times. He said, bring me a, you know, a record. So yeah. I bring him a CD, blah, blah, blah. I go back. I get another operation. I go back. I go to check with him again. So I says, make it small talk. I says, uh, by the way, did, have you ever listened to my record? He says, yeah, we listened to it. I said, what do you mean? He says, yeah, well, we were operating on you. You listen to that garbage? <laughs> Why you listen to opera? You're supposed to listen to Mozart. <laughs> Beethoven. You don't listen to take that thing when you operate. No, that's, that's, that's wild they listen to that. <laughs> I, I wish I was a fly on the wall for that one. Yeah. Well, you were. You just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but, but I know. remember when I didn't go out and they shot me up with a, with a big needle in my back. Mm. And I remember I flew off the, like, kind of the, the gurney. Yeah. Yeah. What, when that was happening, were you saying extra prayers? Like, were you asking God to help you? Well, let this, me tell you that? something. Because I know I would. I know. I, 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 tell, 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 tell you, all the non believers out there, yeah. when you're losing your arm or yeah. your eyesight, you start believing. You believe in God, you, motherfucker. Yeah, you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. You, all, you find him Come real quick. On. Yeah, you, <laughs> you find him quick as hell. Yeah. Like, you know what? If I was wrong about you, I am so oh, sorry, sorry, bro. And you know what? I love you, please. And I, forgive I me. think any supreme being or whatever the fuck he is, or mm. God, or whatever the fuck yeah. you want to call it, if it's your religion, or if it's the other guy's religion, or the Chinese guy, if you go up to the pearly gates and you were in the wrong religion, let's just say, yeah. he would have the sanctity and the, the wisdom to say, well, he was a good person. Right. And that's the main thing. Yeah, and, and we're all matter. we're all sinners, and yeah, we all have to all like sinners. you know you have to like you 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 can't let the past hold you down. You have to yeah. keep evolving through. Yeah. And I always believe in the Ten Commandments: Thou shalt not kill, right? We all believe in. Thou shalt not steal, right? We all believe in. So maybe you don't like. He's one the biggest of, klepto I know. Yeah. Oh so, really? <laughs> is that true? No. Yeah. Is that true? Go, go on. What big you, big glasses. What do you mean? He'll steal a record or nah, what? Nah, big uh, glasses. I'm a big collector. Anything and that's it, not glued down. Oh, anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, so don't, you know, don't toilet invite Vinny paper. over. You go into a hotel room, the toilet paper's gone. I mean, sometimes a Light towel you just have gone. to take. Yeah. Towels. You know, a towel, like yeah. here and there. Sheets. Not that bad sheet. The towel, I speak of During the COVID, it came good for me. Anyway, so you, it's the tech, I believe in the Ten Commandments. I told you I was a liar. So you don't believe in one or two. So what? Basically, you got eight, nine of them, correct? Who gives a fuck, motherfucker? You don't believe in one or two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, we're all on the same page over here. Yeah. What do you think happens when you die? I just think. Good question. Yeah. I, I my personally, he did nothing. I don't think about it. Either zero, like <laughs> static on TV, yeah. or you just wander and like a dream. Yeah. Like, you know, when you dream, you're, you're, you're dreaming constantly. Yeah, and you're just dreaming, and never you know you're. Up. That's like the you never wake question. up. And I think, yeah, yeah. Is, like I think in your dream you say, yeah. "I know I'm dead," yeah. and I can't wake and up. You and you try I know, to wake up. Yeah, you can't. Well, you I was, know, I, was so I box over at Trinity uh, in in downtown. I don't know Tribeca area. Uh -huh. Trinity, shout out Trinity Boxing Club. But this guy yeah. John, who's Love the boxing. brother, uh, one of the owners there, he uh, we were talking about it on Saturday, and he said, "Man." Nothing here is wasted, and if you think like nothing happened, like it goes blank when you're dead, that would be a total waste of all your evolution and everything right? you've been through. It's like, and that made a lot of sense. That was yeah. like, you know what? I do think like the consciousness that we're riding on, yeah, just keeps that's kind going. of yeah. I mean, come on, how many religions? out there how many you know millions of people like you know different like there's got to be something yeah you know you can you know something yeah hey when did roger move was that a devastating <laughs> blow to you guys or what was no, that we like fucking no we got we got rid of him we're happy so you're a boxing guy yeah i love it oh me too i love it love, I love boxing uh, uh my grandfather was a boxer i've been watching boxing since i was a little like since, uh, I don't know since I was born you know yeah. like, my grandfather was a box I, he was zero and two. Oh, really yeah That's <laughs> no it? wins two losses <laughs> did you ever do it no you know I I, I do a little jiu-jitsu I do a little Muay Thai okay you know um 
I almost started. I I went to like three jujitsu's and then I sort of just bailed on it. But yeah, I'm interested in that I, I as love well. It. It's cool. I haven't been doing much lately. Um, Seems the theme in hardcore. A lot of people are into yeah, the martial uh, arts. Yeah. It's you know, I'd be honest with you. It, it's great. It's yeah. um, you meet a lot of good people. You meet the best people. You, the, you really do. You meet some of the coolest it's people. Like the just softest people in the world down, are in a boxing gym. It's crazy. Very just down to earth and really just cool people. I love it. You know. Um, I've always wanted to get into boxing. I just never, I guess with touring, you know, I just never got it. And I have a lot of guys, friends that do. Um, it's never too late. It's not. I mean, I mean I've been doing Muay Thai on and off and did you just I love it. I enjoy it. I love watching boxing. Um, just I, I just love I love the sport. Like my wife thinks I'm crazy because I just watch it like all the time. I go back, I watch the old fights. Yeah, me too. Because it's you great. Too. It's, to me, that's fucking real. Yeah. It's two dudes step in the ring and they duke it out. The best man wins. You know, it's yeah. not like watching a fucking TV show. It's fucking bullshit. Right. Yeah, I mean, I watch some of the shit. Some of it's fun. That's cool, you know. Yeah. And I'm just not a big TV guy, but I love fighting. I love the UFC fights. I love boxing. I love, you know, there's a, you know even boxing's back on the rise again, you know. It's like, awesome. It's really great. I love it. There's a lot of great guys out there and... It's awesome. I just, I don't know. To me, it's fucking real. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, put up, shut up, get up in the fucking ring, duke it out, and uh, I want, best man wins. I want Tyson Fury to fight Anthony Joshua already. Me too. Like, it's going to happen. Yeah, that needs to happen. It has to happen. How could it not? Yeah. You know? Did you but, see uh, the last Conor fight? I loved it. But he got he got duped. And rocked. He got rocked. Connor? Yeah. yeah. I like him. Yeah, he's, he's hard not great, to like. Yeah, I mean, like, I like yeah him. he's such he's, an asshole, you like yeah. him. It's just he's certain a great people fighter. have just an energy that is just yeah. I don't know why you, you just, need a character like, yeah, you know? Yeah, he's, he's a, a character. character. He's a great fighter. He but brought you know a lot I mean? to the game. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Whether you like him or not, oh, yeah, he, he did. Yeah. He got he got MMA even a lot more popular. What about Mayweather getting ready to fight Logan Paul? Ah. Come on. Is that That'll happening? be fun. I want. Uh, yeah, no, it's gonna happen. And I, I mean, it's it goofy or whatever, happen, but, but I, I'm gonna watch it. I don't know yeah. Paul, you know? but I, I know Mayweather. Well, <laughs> Logan Paul's a YouTube star. A, yeah, I mean, I and mean, podcaster. And he's and, training and hard. He, he I, trains hard. He's he's legit in a yeah. way. I mean, I don't. But, I don't think he's getting not, enough respect. As I mean, I don't really know. I've seen him fight two guys. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, and Mayweather's the greatest of all yeah, time. No, Argu Mayweather. Arguably. Yeah. Is he legit when you saw him box? I mean, he Ish. knocked out an NBA guy. <laughs> you know no, saying? that was that was uh, his brother. Oh, that was his brother. Yeah, oh, Logan okay. Paul just lost two fights, but he's like, you know, I, they they take it seriously. Those they guys. Do. You I know? mean, you know, I know he's chained with um, Jorge Masvidal, and yeah, you know, I I don't know, I I just, I right, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know what? If, if he's gonna, I I I mean, Mayweather, he ain't gonna be. Mayweather. Nah, <laughs> he guys, won't even he won't even hit Mayweather. The, I mean, you can't even touch yeah, that nah, guy. He's only yeah. been hit like three times. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, his just, father. Yeah. How about Mayweather's father? Yeah. How fat? He's a yeah. he's a bad motherfucker. His father, yeah. Yeah. a crackhead. Mayweather. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, his father's bad. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. He quit the old man. Oh yeah. Ooh. He got it from his father. Yeah. He That's got, the thing with those he combat got it from sports. His father. You gotta start young. Yeah, you gotta start young. It's in young. their blood. You you can't you can't just be like I, I can't just say hey I'm gonna yeah, go train. I'm gonna train bad. six months. They and were then enemies. Go fight this guy. Yeah, but the thing about boxing is it's so fun just to learn. It doesn't matter. It's kind of like yoga or something. People, it doesn't. You don't have to be great at it to get a lot of enjoyment. Yeah, right. Out no, of it. and a lot of oh. fitness out yeah, of it too. It's hey, so jump fun. rope. You go jump rope. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Tell a, me I'm about. I'm a jump rope. Yeah, little girls jump rope. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You it's try hard. it, fat so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> people don't realize. Really? People don't jump realize. Jump rope, hula hoop. <laughs> yeah, you joke around, but that's it takes a lot out of oh, you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first time I ever went, the, uh, my trainer, Ramon, shout out Ramon, uh, said, okay, here, jump rope for three minutes. After like a minute, yeah, I was no like, way. you got to be minute? fucking kidding that's me. Just hold your fucking hands Wait, up just, like this for three minutes. That's the other yeah. thing, too, people don't realize. And plus, like half of what gasses you is that for, you get so, your adrenaline's going, you get so tense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to learn to relax. relax yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, that's what John was saying. It's like when you play uh, guitar, are you up there just all yeah, tensed yeah, up. Yeah, I still do you that. You have to just be like yeah. this, you know, yeah, and just yeah. like chill. I say that to myself while I'm playing. I'm Absolutely. choking the fucking neck of my guitar. And you motherfucker, you know? <laughs> yeah. People don't but, understand how hard boxing is. Nah. They just think you're yeah, nah, so crazy. You know, like, get the fuck. 
It's, it's timing. It, it's it's yeah, even it's fighting so it's instead so of boxing is hard too. Yeah. It's just tough. It's a tough. Yeah, people Don't just think. think you throw a couple of fucking yeah, like. Well, that'd be cool. Me? They've been watching Mike Tyson one punch, boom, not. People were how about people were complaining that they were paying fifty dollars and like two two seconds later he knocks out a guy. That's what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're paying for. <laughs> for what are you complaining? What do you do to keep in shape? Uh, nothing. well, nothing now. <laughs> nothing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't do nothing. He don't nothing. eat at night. He eats good. That's what he does. Did you ever have any kind of regime? Oh, yeah. Would you go running or do? No, any I was run. I would. Yeah, I was. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm very flexible. Yeah. No. Way. I need that shit for my. Mind. I mean, I used to put my leg over my head, split Chinese. Perfect. Oh yeah. Well, he did karate. Uh, karate. Yeah, I used to oh, put yeah. two there was tables. A picture of you with yeah, that? Yeah. No way. I was very fit. That's wild. Yeah, I would push up one arm, chin up. I do the flag, the half flag. Really? Yeah, no way. I was 120 pounds. Right. Where you going? I'll yeah. challenge anybody to push ups or chin ups. Anybody. Yeah. 120 pounds, big strong guys. No way. I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. I won't beat you on an arm wrestle, but I'll be doing push ups. Did you ever see Over the Top? Yeah. Hey, hold on. It's one of Put my, my favorites. Back, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. when he did that, it was yeah. time. It the was guy like, with the mustache. I was cheering like, for him. It's like the, the thing with the hands yeah, going yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, You just knew it was like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, only Sly Stallone could make an arm wrestling movie be great. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And everybody called him stupid. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, guys like, you know. savant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that Rocky's like genius uh, level. Amazing. I mean, it's, I, Fra- his brother's a genius. Oh yeah, his Frank brother, Frank, Frank Stallone. Stallone's like yeah. a great musician. Yeah, songwriter. Songwriter, actor. He's he does so it all. He right. He's got a band. He's got yeah. a jam. Yeah, yeah. Band. He's on all the all the soundtracks uh, yeah. of yeah, those Stallone yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frank oh, really? Stallone. Frank Stallone always gets a uh, a thing usually. Yeah. So wait, when did so Roger? When did he move? When did he move? Like fifteen years ago. At least fifteen years ago. Oh, sure. yeah. yeah. And did you guys think it might be the end of the band, or no was there? Way. Any, no? Nah, no. no but way. you know, it was a piece missing. But now we're used to it, you know. Right. No way. How's his heart doing? It's all good. Yeah. Far, yeah. So yeah. far, yeah. thank yeah. God. God thank bless God. You know. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's doing all right. Thank yeah. Because the documentary did have that sort of edge of like, yeah, oh, it might end soon, yeah, and then yeah. it was good that it was like at the end. It yeah. said, since this documentary, y'all played four hundred shows or yeah. something like that. But so it's, yeah, uh, it's, you know, you get, he's getting older, you know, we're getting older. Yeah. You know, but look at the Rolling Stones, man. You don't have to stop. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, no you, but, but you know, you, you look at the Rolling Stones, you look at it. Let's, let's say a band, even like I now. We don't talk like the Rolling Stones. They right. got yeah. masseuses. Right. Right. They got chefs. Yeah. They're Flying in number one. Hugger. They're like, but you know what I mean? I, I could do that forever. Yeah. With the yeah. shape I'm in. Yeah. I'll get a personal trainer. We talk like dogs. Well, right. that, that, well, that's the other thing that documentary Still. like highlighted really excellently for like people just not used to that world because I'm used to that world going in clubs and how, right, how right, hard that right, shit is. Right, yeah. That's why I'm asking about physical fitness too because I don't think people understand yeah. how physically fit you have to be yeah. to actually True. do that shit. You're in a mentally. little... Mentally. Mentally yeah. everything. It's, You're in a backstage cold nowhere really to lay down or chill unless you're in like a house of blues some, you always some, find something like that but like some <laughs> potato sticks and a yeah, six pack yeah yeah go <laughs> you're lucky, you're lucky if you get that yeah. 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 yeah you know so it ain't blue m and for us you right know? yeah we get bottom of the barrel you know do you, what, do you think there's a benefit to that kind of gritty touring it's yes in an no. honorable way, yes, and, and in a way we do des- people like body wise, no, you know? right? <laughs> yeah, you know me, I'll sleep on wet concrete. You know, it don't matter to Especially me. Especially after this, I you, sleep on the floor lately. You know, I just moved into a new apartment. I don't have a bed yet. I've just been sleeping on the floor. Yeah, I got, used, back? I got no, used. I got used to no, it. Yeah. And yeah. I, it actually like Do you I, sleep on the back like this, like Dracula. No, no, okay. no, no. But I, I mean, I like you know, put some yoga mats yeah. down. Yeah, right, that. right, of course. But it's it's like nice. I like it. Yeah, when I'm in Japan, I do. I they get me the room. Yeah, you know the the flat room. You know, oh. everybody, like, I ain't gonna go in there. What do you mean? You're in Japan. Give me a fucking bed. Yeah. What's the flat room? You know, with the bed on the floor. Oh, okay. Kind of, you know, with the, I like that. Yeah, no I, way. It feels like I'm, I'm at Japan. a slumber party. Get the fuck out of here. One moment ago, I want to eat Japanese food. These motherfuckers want to go to McDonald's. Really? Oh, do I got beef? 
Do I got beef? You need I some sushi. Yelling. I want sushi right I, now. I love sushi. But I mean, this guy, he'll eat fucking fish heads. This, this yeah, guy, me too, though. Yeah, yeah. I will, too. I'll Spun try that shit. I'll do it. I'll eat it all. Eyes, fish Let's eyes. Do I don't care. How is touring in Japan different from the U.S. and Europe? You get to eat fish eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you get to just, yeah. Well, you know, uh, it's weird because everything are smaller. is different. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. It's, it's, so it's weird another it's universe. It. It's hard to explain. It's the most different place in the world I've ever been. Clean. It's clean. Clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay. Honorable people. All right, check this out. Good so place. I asked. Uh, it's hard our, to our, say our, what's different about it. It's just. Oh, it's the home of Godzilla. Come on. Is the, is the, is the energy from the audience different or the no. venues different? They're more polite. Like what's what's more different polite. there? Uh, just, they treat you better there? Uh, just the way they do everything. Uh, it's weird. Like. You All ha- I know is great. To experience yeah, it. I'm right. not good at, exper- at explaining anything. He's better than this guy, but um, it's it really is the most different place. Like you go to Colombia, you, you go to South America, you go to Canada, you go to Europe. Everything is just a, a little, little bit, bit di- different. Yeah, right. You, um, Japan, everything's different. Mm. Right. Like, for, I mean, for the most part, it's, yeah. it's more different than anything else. You know. On um, their culture's a little different. You ever um, been to China? No. But no, we haven't no. been to China. I've been to China. I've no, toured in China. There. There's yeah. a Chinese band, a hardcore band out there that I support. And uh, I f- I can't pronounce the name. I'm sorry about that. I should have <laughs> worn a shirt. We but, apologize to them. Yeah, that. but, uh, you know, because, but they, they, they censor their lyrics. In Japan, uh, they in, still- in China. In China. I'm sorry, in, in China. In China. Mm. They're still being censored there, so they're fighting. Coming know, to America soon. Yeah, no, they're I fighting a lot of that. These are the guys we. I met them in uh, Europe, uh, at a festival, and uh, Jesus Christ, Big trouble, little China. Yeah. Hey, so check this out. So I asked Jesse Mallon what I should ask you, like, uh, and he and he uh, sent me this voicemail. Let's check it out. Shout out, Jesse. Hey, Joseph. I'm not going to type, so here's the bit. Vinny Stigma, what a character. <laughs> New York as it gets. Ask him about growing up in Little Italy and being a punk rocker, being the only guy in that neighborhood in the height of that, like 70s, early 80s, growing up uh, on Mott Street or Mulberry Street, I think Mott Street, and going to Max's and dressing up like that and then coming back to his neighborhood, the culture clash. Right. Uh, his first band, The Eliminators, playing at A7 and that, the transition from the punk stuff he was doing with that band, playing bass and singing to starting Agnostic Front, what that was like. Um, You know, putting out those records, those early records. I would jump to a funny story about Mike Ness and him. Mike Ness from Social D throwing a bottle when he was all strung out on drugs in New York. And it happened to land on one of the kings of hardcore, Stigma, one of the godfathers, and it cut his knee, and it cut him, and they beat the hell out of Mike Ness. Years later, we're all going to see Johnny Cash, and everybody's uh, grown up and sober, and they made friends, and every time Mike Ness comes through New York with Social D, he tells that story. He said, I took a New York beat down. Uh (laughs) It's an interesting little bit. It's just kind of funny. Might loosen him up. Also, the movie about him and Roger, it was a really good film that was out on Showtime. One of the more better well done films his side project stigma um just you know, i think he's been in mad ball but mostly agnostic front and the changes they went through over the years when they got more uh metallic and going back to the roots and uh the new york scene in general watching it grow being one of the the main guys the real uh, pioneers of, of new york hardcore watching a7 and everything the future and being a man of his age how he keeps such youth and and uh, I think uh, just keeps his head going. He's, he's older than all of us, and his sense of humor, and it's just an original. Hopefully, this will set you in some kind of uh, direction. They're pretty big overseas, and uh, they just have a, a great thing. Victim in Pain is my favorite record, and uh, it was on Rat Cage Records, a label I was on as well. A little shop on 9th Street, cool guy made. All right, Babbling Brook, Malin. Hope you're good. Good to see you the other day, too. I love that place. Shalom, <laughs> Jesse Mallon, what a guy! The, the best what a guy. guy. In the world. I mean, are you kidding? I asked him, "What should I? What should I ask Vinny Stigma?" Little text, and this is what he comes back with. It's like, um, come on, Jesse, he is the what best a, or what? Right? I love that guy. I love him like, from the minute yeah. I met him. <laughs> 
I yeah, always, I, he's, I he's bought dope. his record, $3, yeah. God is Dead, and Shotgun, his single, in front of CBGB's. $3. Right. Right. He was out there. So he's, the, he's, an he's an original. He's an original. No, he's yeah. out there. And look at him. He's great. Also born he's and killing raised. it. Sorry? Born and raised. He's oh, yeah. He's a Queens boy. He's yeah. a Queens yeah. boy. Yeah. So, yeah, that is a good thing that he brought up, though, the style of going from, like, your, you know, the punk rock scene and then back to your neighborhood and stuff like yeah. that. What was that like? Well, only Jesse would know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know what is good? Like I was telling you before, I'm like a neighborhood guy. Yeah. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm not like, like I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just a regular guy. Yeah. And you know what? I'm a better artist than you, motherfucker. He's a bullshit artist. That's uh, right. The best bullshit artist on the planet, Stand motherfucker. Stand-up philosopher. But you know what I mean? I mean, really. You, I, I, it's just that I used to go back to my neighborhood. And you know what some guy told me? He says, Vinny, when you walked out of your building, you made a left instead of a right. Because when I went, made a right, I went down to my neighborhood. But if I go left, I go right out to Houston Street, out to the, to the Lower East Side. And I just, well, it's because of music, and I make friends, and, you know, I just bounce around. But in the neighborhood when you were back and in, in when you were in your oh. punk rock gear, would you would you freak people out? Nah, or like, because nah. they all knew me. They all knew you. They all knew me. Uh, yeah. They loved me. They loved you. Yeah, I was the, the, the punk rocker from the neighborhood, the yeah. first kid in the neighborhood with a mohawk. Oh, yeah. man. They loved you. They loved it. What's not to love? I'm a respectful guy. Show respect, you get respect. Yeah. Back to what we were saying before. Yeah, what about Mike Ness? What was that about? Mike. First of all, Mike's a great guy. Yeah. I just talked to Johnny Two Bags the other day. Johnny Two Bags? Yeah, he's a guitar player. I called him for Christmas to tell him, you know, whatever. Anyway, Mike. Happy Christmas. Great. He threw a bottle. He played two plus two, and it happened to hit me in the knee. I still got the scar on my knee. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I can feel it right now. <laughs> right here. A early scarification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Got, there was a beef, but I don't want to talk about that because I, I think Mike's a great guy. Did a lot for hardcore, you know, punk rock. He was a true uh, original, you know. So uh, it's good. It's good. I'm glad to, to see that he's good and being a good boy. And I came to my realizations also. Like, you know, we all got older. Yeah. You know, and we all grew up. We all have children now. And it's all good. Yeah. And uh, psh, Mike, forget about it. He's a big star. I mean, every guy wants to be him and every girl wants him. Right. I mean, you know, even I want to be Mike Ness <laughs> yeah. for a couple of days. <laughs> it's funny how violence can bring you closer together in to a some way, people yeah, in a way, yeah. That connected me and Mike. Yeah. I mean, funny. other than that, he'd be like some guy in the West Coast that I never met. Right. But Let's being see, this happened. In the fight world, you know? Yeah. yeah. Two guys go at it. They talk yeah, shit yeah, about yeah. each other. Yeah. They yeah. duke it out at the end but of the But he fight. just threw a bottle at, random, at, at yeah. random, and it happened to hit me. And I pushed a girl away. Angelica, her, 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 her father's ripped on. Hmm. Angelica Page is her mother. I pushed her, and I saw the bottle, and it was a quart, a quart, before the 40s. There were no 40s then. It was a quart, and it hit me right in my knee. Right. And whatever, you know, whatever. And my friends had beef, you know, whatever. Uh, but that's okay. This is 40 years, 30, 40 years later. Who cares? Well, Jesse wanted to know. Oh, Jesse knows. <laughs> he knows. And what about the whole A7 scene? What's that? Like, what went on there? That's one thing that really fascinates me because we've had Jimmy G here and a bunch of shout out Murphy's Law on the hoodie. Um, just that whole scene was where the birth of hardcore was. And like you said, the stage where you want people with you, there was no stage right. there. So yeah. it was really like a commune thing. Right. No and, way. And, but it was so, people don't realize it was so small. There were like, what, 50 people in that 50 room? 50 people every for night? DOA. Right. Joey Shithead and so me hanging did, around. How did That's it wild. shift from I there. love Joey. I'm going to vote for Joey Shithead. I think he became mayor. I think he got it in okay. his town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to move to Canada just so I could, just so I could vote for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so Joey Shithead. How did mayor. it shift from <laughs> A7 to, 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 to this big movement from that little one small You know, club? that's the jump that, that created everything. I think it was bands like Agnostic Front that went to Europe with this New York hardcore sound, you know, back in the late 80s, early 90s, that toured like animals, that 
projected that sound into Europe. Right. And then it went viral. Mm -hmm. you Bef know? Before there was viral. Before there was viral. What were we called yeah. before? It radical. It went radical. Went radical. Yeah. Fuck, man, it went radical. Yeah. And, and if you get big in Europe, they never forget. They're loyal over yo, there. And, and, and you know what? It's, out of They're all loyal. the hardcore bands, yeah, there's a hardcore band there, there's a hardcore band there. They, 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 they might be from Virginia or Chicago or wherever, but it's New York hardcore. Right. Hands down, New York hardcore worldwide. I don't know what it is. It may be it's something about New York, the water. What is it? The it's bagels? The sound I don't of New know. York. It's the yeah. sound of the East Village. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, did you know that you were doing something historically relevant while you were doing it? Not really. Not really. Uh, it just, uh, I, I did it because I liked it. And I, 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 I was like an elder even then. Mm -hmm. So I was the guy who rented the van. Uh, got the, I was the only guy, I had a studio. I was the only guy with equipment, bass, drums, all the equipment. Mm. I had all the equipment, all the instruments. Uh, uh, I was the only one with, with a, 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 an apartment with a phone number that you could reach, a landline. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. They didn't have cell phones. No. They said, I'm going back before right. even uh, the answering machines. They barely had phones. They, the answering machine might have been new then. Right. So I was the only guy that kept this, and I was very involved. I was very, very involved. I was like the mafia. What's the matter? You didn't come to the show. Where were you last night? Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would threaten people. Where were you? You weren't at the show. I missed you. Yeah. But only in a good way. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You got to come to the show. My Gallows band's playing tomorrow night. We got to go. Like, you know, yeah. we got to be there for them. Because enthusiasm is everything. That's what. Yeah, that's what. That's the know? engine of everything that you people know? need to know. You got to have enthusiasm and desire. Yeah, no man's an island. Nah. I need somebody with me yeah. to go along with me. You know, so I could go along with you, and together we, you know. Yeah. We could do it. And how about the brotherhood you have with Roger? How did that develop? Well, like I said, I met him on the dance floor, mm -hmm. and he was such a nice guy. Uh, and he uh, and he is still. I mean, he's a good guy. Right? Yeah, he you is. Know, you know. Like he comes off as a really you know, good he, guy. He's, me, I'm a son of a bitch. But, no, you, you know. come off as a good guy too. <laughs> but bro. Roger's like you know, <laughs> he, he's a, he's really a good guy, and uh, it, it's it, you know, it's easy to be partners with somebody like that. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I don't. I never have to worry about a dollar or a dime. Yeah. I don't have to worry about ego or. Uh, or whatever. I don't care. Like we never like we're together. Yeah. It's me and you. Because yeah. I can't do it without you. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to do it without him. Yeah. That's another thing. It's not that I can't. Yeah, I could get maybe another guy, but I don't wanna. Right. I, I it's gotta be you. Yeah. You know? But see that's the energy you put into the relationship and that's why it flourishes so much. Well, like, you know, I Try my best to be a good partner. Where did you learn that from? Like, do you think you got that from your mother or your father? I think I got that from being in the neighborhood. Respect. Okay. In order to get respect, you got to give respect. Right. So people want respect. Okay. But are you respecting other people? Right. You want other people to respect you? Yeah. Sure. No problem. But if you don't throw out respect, you ain't going to get none back. So you got it from the city. I got it from being in the neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Growing up in New York. That's cool. Yeah. And do you have kids? No. Oh. Yeah, I have one child. One child? <laughs> that was an automatic no. And then, okay, well, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm dead now. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you're really canceled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little Vinny, he's bigger than me. He's bigger than you? Yeah, yeah all the kids are big. Is he in, in New York now? Or? Yeah, he lives in Queens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is he t uh, into the music? No, or? he's into computers. Computers? Uh, yeah. That's not bad. No. Yeah, no, cause, he, uh, he, he, he does. That's how he makes his money. That's what he does. You I, should ask him about NFTs and what you could do with Agnostic Front in the <laughs> NFT world. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a blockchain situation, cryptocurrency. But now artists can sell their music oh, wow. on the blockchain. Wow. And it's a whole other... Reve yeah. revenue stream on wow, on that's awesome. yeah on top of everything else right, right. it doesn't affect the all the thing. all the current revenue streams it's yeah. just a new layer of wow. revenue stream 
So that could be a thing you and your son NFTs, could get into. All right. NFTs, look into that because right. it's it's happening. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's happening right now. There there was a, a DJ named Blau who just sold uh, his record that was three years old, by the way, and he was a, an artist with like forty thousand Instagram followers at that time. Right. I'm sure that's ballooned sure, up. Sure, sure, sure. But he just tokenized his al- album, a re-release, and sold it for eleven point seven million dollars. <laughs> So there's a lot of money there. Yeah. And, and, and for a band of your stature and uh, of your history and your um, cultural importance, there could be a great deal of... Uh, well, we're a, the band of great, the people, great so deal the of people things will there. speak, you know? Yeah. yeah. Let's tokenize yeah. Vinny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're going to tokenize this podcast. All right. Yeah. And sell it for a million dollars on, yeah, yeah. on I'll the go blockchain. Yeah, uh, Get some more. Um, I had a question. Oh, he mentioned Roger, and you said you guys were inseparable. It, watching the documentary, I didn't know that he went to jail. Were you guys aware of what he was doing before he got arrested? Yeah, good question. Yeah, I, I, and like, I, how did you handle I, it yeah, after good, he yeah, got arrested? Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> good question. I was. I. Uh, he was doing his own little thing. He was he, being a mule. Yeah, he was being a mule. He you was knew, living you in had Staten to know. Island, and I was living in New York, and there was a little bit of a distance there. And he had friends that I didn't like, uh-huh. and uh, but I, you know, you minded your own mind business. my business, and you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you know, I understand that. Because he had a daughter, and, 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 and then uh, when uh, when he went away, I always say agnostic front, shot, stabbed, imprisoned. Yeah. Was it a shock when he got arrested? My friend got shot. Jimmy Coletti was shot. Another guy in my band was stabbed, and Roger was in prison. So that's agnostic front in a nutshell. Right. And you know we're from really from the streets, you know. But I'm from not from like the gutter. Right. You know I'm from the streets, but you know like I'm a decent guy. I'm a good guy. Yeah. Neighborhood guy. Right. But uh, what was that question again? He was asking about like the the shock of uh, yeah. Roger getting well, in prison. Well, he, he went away for eighteen months, that's and a long that time. And that was rough for me. Yeah. Because then I, w- I wind up with, I started Madball. I did the Madball thing. Uh-huh. What was that? Your other band? Yeah. Wait, so when, when he went to jail, you the band kind of broke up and you yeah, started Madball? Right, yeah. And Mike get, was in Madball? No. No. This is before Mike. Oh, okay. Even. Yeah. I, uh, well, he went to jail. We already had, I think, maybe a, a single from Madball. You know what I mean? Or two EPs. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, I can't remember that far back, but yeah, but I, I wanted to be Madball, and I love being in Madball. What was Madball? Madball was the new hardcore. Okay. You know, they took the torch from Agnostic Front and ran with it, and they ran all the way to the top of the hill, I got to yeah. say. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, Madball's... Top they're, notch. They're really great. Are they great. still doing it? Yeah, they're still... They're really? still flourishing. They're still making records. They're still out there. They, yeah. they, they're the 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 godforsaken child of Agnostic Front, and we love them. I love them. I'm still a Madball guy. I right. I, I, I was playing Madball on my guitar today. You know, so it's just. It, oh, you did today. Oh yeah, I, every day. Every day. You every play. day I play my guitar and I throw a Madball riff in there somehow. Yeah. He makes it in there, you know. Not an agnostic front, but a mad ball. I got to get back. I got to stop practice. I practice. I practice to apps now. Right. You know, like, like a blues app mm-hmm. or a rock app. My kid puts apps on phones for me. Right. So, I, you know, for a dollar, you get an app. So you play this beat, and you play guitar to the beat in key. Yeah. You try a minor, D flat, whatever the fuck it is. You put the fucking thing on, and you you, you you noodle around. Yeah. And then that's what keeps me busy. I do that. I cook. I shower. I come back. I smoke a joint. I cook. I clean dishes. I, I got to start exercising. You definitely I, do. I, I, I start in with that. I'd be all right if I do all that. You know, you know, I'm just trying. I'm just waiting this pandemic out. Right. So everybody out there, stay the course. Like I said before, stay the course. We're going to get through this. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, you're Willie Nelson. Do, do you, did you go visit him in jail? No, I didn't. You didn't? I didn't. And I didn't. when he Were came, you mad at him? I, I, no, 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 I wasn't mad. I wrote him letters, you know. Oh, you did? Yeah. So you kept in touch? Yeah, I kept in touch. 
And then when he came out, it was an immediate yeah, let's got, get yeah, the band right, back we together. Yeah, we got the band back together, and it was like it was we were back on top again. Right away. It was like yeah, like was, it was like the Blues Brothers. Let's get the band together. Did it change him? I think it did. Yeah. How yeah, so? I, 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 you know, don't forget. We, this is years now. We go from the minute I met him in the in the in the in the pit. Want some? From the minute I met him in the pit. Yeah. So from the minute I met him in the pit until when he is, you know, from then, sure, I changed myself. You right. know, life changes. The world changes. Yeah. We're always changing. Change is constant. Yeah. It's a big evolution and a celebration. Spirit. Yeah. The punk rock spirit. What's the difference between punk rock and hardcore for people who... Asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> hardcore is punk rock speed, speed it up. <laughs> we'll say that again. <laughs> <laughs> that weed is good. Without choking. <laughs> good weed. <laughs> well, Mike said, well, we said Mike said you take a hit and you bail. Yeah, so yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I might take two hits it. tonight. I'm on the podcast. <laughs> you want me to keep babbling, right? Yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> they're a bad influence, everybody. <laughs> Don't listen to this podcast, whatever you do. <laughs> What were we talking about? <laughs> Roger coming back. Oh, no, the difference between punk and hardcore. Oh, right. I, I think, uh, okay. <laughs> the weed I kicked would, in. Yeah, the weed did kick <laughs> in. I, and I didn't even uh, smoke yeah, it. it you you gotta, you gotta, I got to drive. Otherwise, I would love some. He got a, a, a selfie here. What do they call that? Uh, <laughs> the what? When did you're near it. The, oh, contact high. You got a contact high. Oh, yeah. a, anyway, selfie, a selfie yeah. high. What was that again? <laughs> <laughs> what was the difference? What? Between hardcore and okay. punk. It's, pu uh, it's sped up. Okay. Ha uh, punk. It's punk sped up. Right. Sped up a little bit. Oh. That's what I say. Now, it splintered off also with the speed up. Mm -hmm. It splintered up into the more ideologue, straight edge, vegan, which I don't like. Right. I mean, I don't. Thanks, not brother. that I care about your your that, but I don't like that it's split up. Mm -hmm. And here she is, a fiery Colleen, I tell you. Um, but Vinny, yeah, you were in punk bands, right? Yes. So w you felt it was over, and you had to transition, or why? Um, why did you like? Yeah, I then there was like, remember, punk's not dead. Remember that shirt? Yeah. Yeah, I always used to say, punk's in a coma. It's not right. dead. It's in a coma. Yeah. So that was my little stupid joke. I bet maybe I should stick to my day job. Definitely. No, but why was it dead? Why was it in a coma? Uh, well, people because were not coming out. Like what? People weren't coming out. It was transitioning into hardcore. A lot of the punk rockers didn't want to make the jump. Uh, a lot of the old punk rock group, like want to accept the younger kids. Like Fugazi or something like this. That come even later. Right. That come even later. 90s. To, thank you, Mike, by the way. Salute, Mike. Mike bought the round of drinks, everybody. Mike Gallo bought a round of drinks for everybody. Salute. I, didn't, I forgot to eat today, so that's why I'm yeah. taking oh, you're feeling a good. Good. Yeah. That's oh, like yeah. a fucking... I, I, made sure a, I, a I made sure I ate today. Yeah. Because I knew better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where were we? Punk. And punk, punk is and dead. hardcore. Oh, punk's and, not. And punk will never die. Punk. Why you left punk for hardcore? Well, I didn't leave punk. I, I, I even though punk, hardcore punk claims me, you. hardcore claims me. I, I'm still a punk rocker. Right. I'll always be a punk rocker. Well, hardcore is like the bastard child. Of exactly. Punk, you know? Yeah. You know? It's, it's a, a dirtier it, cousin it, or something. Right. Yeah. It, it morphed into that. Step and brother. Then yeah. When it morphed, <laughs> the no it, good stepbrother of punk right. rock. And when it morphed into that. It splintered, like I said, you know, into like the straight edge, the vegan, the this, the politically correct. That started ruining punk rock. Right. Because punk rock's supposed to spit in your face and fuck you. Yeah. Whether yeah. you like it or not. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's punk rock. You don't like me? You want to just deplatform me? Poo, fuck you. Right. That's punk rock. Yeah. And now everybody's worried about being tweeted or being deflatformed or being dykes, dexed, whatever the, what do they call that? Doxed. Doxed. Yeah. You know, get the fuck out. Fuck you. Right. You got to fight against this cancel culture shit. I agree. 
You know yeah, what I mean? It's too much. All right, you don't well, like it, something. It's okay, just, yeah. I don't like you. I don't like you to shave today. What do you want me to yeah. tell you? Go shave. It's just it's just uh, letting everything know? like it's 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 crazy. It, I, I can't get with don't it. Don't be too ideal. It's weird to see Ama- America go through this, and and and, and the obvious too like sensitive. and the obvious impending danger that there's been a historical precedent set of like, we know where this kind of thing goes. Oh yeah. Like there's yeah. like, like we're, we're going to pretend like we don't see that there's the, some dangerous the, signs up ahead that let like me tell you that this, that the, that the binding could get stronger and stronger. The last time I played Florida, there were a bunch of uh, kids from uh, 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 Venezuela. Right. They're, they're flooding into uh, uh, Florida, yeah. the Venezuelans. I never heard a, a foreigner come up to me and say, Vinny, thank you, Donald Trump. We love Donald Trump. I couldn't believe I'm hearing this from these people. Mm. Now, I don't care, but these are these people saying it. Right. Now, I know that sometimes it might be a touchy subject to people with privilege, like us in America, right. whether you're poor or rich, black or white, but these are people saying this? I, I found that profound. Why? Because I know in our culture, we're not allowed to accept it. Right. And we might be deplatformed. Right. And you know what? All voices must be heard. Nuanced conversation, you know, and nuanced these are debate. From, where, I, it's not that you're telling me. Peep, these people are saying it. I'm and like, because wow. it's dangerous when you're not allowed to criticize a certain side because then, mm-hmm. you know, now we're bombing Syria and stuff like that. Oh, and, it's like, well, yeah. and it's like, what's up with that? Yeah, peace you know, and prosperity like, for four years. We're going to get back into war. It's crazy. Here we go. It's crazy. It's, yeah. it's just like, but you can't even, it's like you can't even really say anything against yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not a, or you, not a, yeah. Or you can, but you'll get this you mob on, like you'll get a mob on yeah, you. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. You, Tiptoe you, around you it. You just yeah. don't say it because you don't yeah. want the fucking pain in the ass right, of like so, dealing with it yeah. and then possibly also getting deplatformed and, yeah, and all yeah. that shit. So all it's right, like. Yeah. So all you stupid motherfuckers out there, you know what's up. Think for yourself. Think yeah. for think for yourself. Freedom of to. thought. I mean, it's like the go. 1984 thing. It's like yeah. the, the most stunning totally. thing in that book is when totally. he, when he's making the decision to buy a journal. To buy a journal, and if you get caught with a journal, like I think you get like the death penalty or whatever because you're not allowed to write your own thoughts or you're not allowed yeah. to like think for yourself. That's not good. Yeah. No, and that's, that's why that's nowadays I would never consider myself on the left or on the right. Right. You know what I do? Yeah. I think for myself. Think for myself, you know, too. I, I take I'm going to go to the bathroom. Come on, Vinny. I gotta go. I'm old. I'm allowed. <laughs> I'm a senior citizen. Headphones. My Gallo, take over. Yeah. Oh, my God. Can I actually, gl- can, can I actually get a word in? I'm glad yeah. you brought Mike oh, Gallo. Now we know why he brought him. I'm yeah. glad you he brought him. He brought him for the bathroom <laughs> break. Yeah, we needed Mike Gallo. <laughs> break so I could buy him fucking Guinness. <laughs> Yeah. You know what, Jimmy? He, he when, knows what he's doing. When Jimmy G was here. He had his friend. Who's his friend? Uh, an oh, Irish man. dude, and he was just Guinness, 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 oh, yeah. Guinness, Guinness. This is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but like I was saying, it's just like I would never consider. I feel. I guess I feel like nowadays I don't think it's even. People get caught up in just you know the left side, the right side, and it's just like. I, I just I don't I'm on I'm I'm no right wing on I'm no left side. wing I'm a fucking chicken wing yeah me neither I've, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I've always identified as a liberal I'm just somebody who um, wants freedom and, yeah. and and thinks freedom of speech yeah. is really important obviously it is. and to to even say that now feels like an edgy thing to say it's like it is it why shouldn't. why is saying freedom of speech is important and edgy thing to say like what it's just so weird that, I, just, I, like, I just you know because i have so many friends on both sides you know right what I mean? me too and the way i look at it is like i feel like i mean your average person you know they believe this because they feel like in the goodness of their heart that they feel that this is right you know what right. i mean like so like I have so many friends and families on both sides and I hear their opinions, I hear these opinions and I try to take them all and gather them up in my crazy head and just try to make some sense out of like, you know, all of it. But it's just like, you know, it's just like, I think everything is perception. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you want to look at everything this way, you can look at everything that way. If you are, if you want to find something online that you believe in, you'll find shit. 
Right. You'll find shit out there. If you want to believe that everything's racist, you could fucking find so many little things that may be racist. You know right. what I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? It's, just it's like, what you look you for. Or like when you stare at the abyss, the abyss stares back at you type of shit. It's like, yeah. and, and now like Ehud was telling me like in the schools, they're like doing these different things like where only like, you know, certain races are allowed to do them. And it's like, promote it's like teaching children to like really think about like the differences and like all that to me it seems like yeah it's I, like, mean, I just I, you know I, I've never rather than being one rather than promoting yeah. that we are one we are, one. We are, we we are should, all one we should not even fucking call each other colors you know yeah. black white or what we're humans. We're humans. Who gives a fuck? I, yeah. I grew up. I in love New York. everybody. I love Me too. everybody. I, don't I, give like, a f- I like meeting different people. I love. I, like, I enjoy that. Yeah. I en- enjoy meeting different people. Yeah. Of different races, different religions, different like, whatever. You know what I mean? Because that makes things more interesting. People, of course. It makes of everything, and it's yeah. you know what I mean. It's like it's, I just I, I can't believe the direction we're going in. Like I just I don't know. But I mean, I feel like there's pushback. Like you're a, you're an aspect of pushback. The fact that you're speaking on this now, and we're speaking on this now, and I think more and more people are speaking on it now. I hope so. So hopefully there's pushback because we certainly don't want to like tighten the grips anymore. No, it doesn't make. I I I strongly believe it doesn't make sense to pick a side. Right. You just, you know, stop and, being so divisive. Yeah, you know, the media, they let the media control everything and, and control and, their minds. Right, it know? pushes it pushes a narrative and it obviously pushes Stupid. a narrative. It's like with the like the late night talk show, like the comedy talk shows now, they're just always just it's just all division, 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 yeah. and it's yeah, yeah. like it's yeah. like it's gonna well, keep. How, yeah. It's gonna. How is all, that entertaining anybody? Now? Saturday like, Night Live sucks. All this <laughs> sucks. Oh. Every, yeah. every, they're, getting, they're getting ran. They're not Sorry. gonna ask Agnostic Frank to play now on Saturday. Everything yeah. that's I, going I know, on. I just, I did I just lose my chance? You lost your chance too. I love <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Are you kidding? I'm a big Everything fan. Everything that's going on <laughs> now is making things worse. <laughs> right. It's just because it's almost like the poke the bear effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing's yeah. funny. It's, it's just, but it's you know. snowball. But there are the balls there, there are people. Rolling. There are people. Oh, it, it, it's, so it's, how do you stop like a Tim snowball? Dillon. No Tim stopping. Dillon is funny exactly. as hell. Yeah. Like, do you know, do you know it, Tim Dillon? It's just going to keep going. No. You got to check out Tim. Until it hits the bottom and then it's going to explode. It explodes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's just like, you know, like, I, I don't. It's just, it's not I want to laugh. I want to be funny. Right. I don't care who, who they make fun of. Yeah, I mean, right. we grew up make making fun of, fun of each care. other. Yeah. It's funny. That's how we grew up. You know? Right. We made fun of each other, and yeah. that was our... That was a sign of love. That was yeah. our thing, yeah. and now you Because if you could make fun that. of each other, and you knew you were still down yeah. and still friends, yeah. no. that was like ultimate love in really? a way. Like there no was, way. It was a bulletproof yeah. kind of brotherhood. And, and, and you know, when, when it comes to real brotherhood like that, it could be about race, religion, color, it doesn't matter. Right. I know, because I I do it with my personal friends. Yeah, I, they do it with me more than yeah. I do it with them. I, when, you know, when all the racism old school, started you know, coming, I don't know. like when all this like yeah. uh, like hyper like um, sight on racism, I was like sh- kind of shocked because I just live in a world where it's like. I, everybody just loves yeah, everybody. Yeah, I don't like, live in that we, world. We weren't living in that world. I don't world. live in I was that like, world. What? I don't want to really? hear about this, it, man. This is a thing. I don't want to fucking hear and about that shit. It's not that yeah. it's not a thing, and it's not that it shouldn't be dealt with, but it's yeah, like to no, focus. Yeah, I know. It ain't our thing. But to focus on here. it, like, you know, you know to what? this yeah, degree. Like a laser blade. They saw right. It's yes. like, because you just, what you focus on, you bring into your life. And as a culture, what we focus on, we bring into our life, too. So it's like, we should focus on love. I think, you know, you like to fight the darkness, focus on the light just yeah, focus exactly. on light Don't and that brings light, light. Exactly. like i do that with my own personal space and, and you're it, great about that's great y- wisdom right yeah there. yeah focus yeah. on the light focus on the know, light you don't need the dark no and no? it's like that's uh you know and that's what's so great about agnostic front is because you guys are coming I mean, for, speaking y- unity for fucking y- yeah i mean if you, you if you listen to fucking victim of pain right the whole you know yeah. punks and skins blacks and whites you're yeah. preaching that 
Yeah. They were preaching that for fucking ever. Right. Since really? 82, they were preaching that. Right. And the, and, the, and, and none the same, you know? We love everyone. Yeah, me too. You Hallelujah. Know, everyone at our fucking show is, is accepted. Is welcome. Absolutely. Some ideologue come along like the correct uh, Yeah, something. fuck you. <laughs> you didn't punctuate right. it right or something. Come and hang out yeah, and shut fuck the yourself. fuck up and be yourself. Yeah, that's, uh, I think some people can't have fun, though. Yeah, And so right? they get mad at other people that are having yeah, fun, the and then they want to... Sense of humor. And then they want to take it to like no one can yeah, have fun. Let's focus right. on all the you know, bad yeah. shit. Yeah. Next day is yeah, haters, yeah. Drink, haters, drinking hater it, hated it, hated it. <laughs> 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 that, you know what was a fucking great show and living color. Oh yeah, I love because it. it was really fucking culturally diverse. Yeah, and, and just like. It, it was fucking cool. And Jim Carrey was such a genius yeah. on that. Oh, right. they yeah. all were. He did a great they all, No, they all were, but as the token white guy yeah, in that no one. Yeah, way. He was such a great representative. Oh, he's Fire <laughs> Marshal like, Bill, know, right? Fire yeah, Marshal yeah, no Bill. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 yeah. No way. He's the best. Yeah. He even did a great Biden. Yeah. Before, now he got... He don't. He's not on Saturday Night Live now. No? He, he was on doing Biden. Right, right, right. So anyway... He's not doing Biden no more. He complained. They said, "What the fuck? You know, they're not. Do- it's over a month, and they didn't even come up with a Biden don't, joke. They don't want to make fun of Biden. Yeah. It's like that we is need so. To make th- fun of. We need th- to make fun th- of. Th- that is so. I like making fun of Trump. That, I like making fun of everybody. That, duh. It's exactly. Could you not make fun of him? Exactly. You make fun of like, everybody. Pe- people are you know? ridiculous, and you know yeah, Biden is also ridiculous. It's that's like, the beef I got with Come on, it's like what? That's the beef I got with Well, that's the beef I have too. Is it's like, come on, be equal opportunity. Yeah. Like the writing is really downhill. Takers. The writing really went bad. All right, let's get okay. off this subject because yeah. I, I, Just I, I, I still want to. Wanna, I, I, still I still have the SNL, SNL dream. <laughs> Me too, bro. I want to be on that show. Oh, equal okay. opportunity <laughs> offender is the, yeah. is the word. Yeah, yeah I, 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 just, be, be, a, just be an equal exactly. opportunity offender. And don't let power go unchecked. Exactly. Because if you do That's that, all. like what what we kind of pretend that we that that hasn't been done in the past and right. led to disastrous sure. results. Sure, there are weapons of I mean, mass like, destruction in my pocket. Right. <laughs> like Tim Dillon was saying, the comedian I was telling you should check out because he's hysterical. But on his podcast, he was saying about how now they don't even make up a story. It used to be like, oh, they have weapons of mass destruction. Now they're bombing Syria. And they didn't even make up a story. They don't even like tell you why it's happening. Oh, you know, some like, American worker so it's was gotten, there, got killed. What is an American worker doing there in the first place? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. so they did tell That's a story. That's why they said. I don't know. That's what he said on his pod. There was a story. Yeah. Shout out Tim there Dillon. I'm a big fan. There's always a story. Oh, there, okay, I, I wasn't watching. Yeah. Because what is an American worker doing there in the first place? What, what do we care? What, what is it? Precip- peace and prosperity Syria for Syria is years. complicated. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah I'm sure I, the world is complicated, yeah, but yeah. what's not complicated is let's not drop bombs on people. Yeah, you're that's, right. That's not complicated. Right. Let's just not do that. <laughs> Can I say that? Well, like, right. Am I canceled? Who wants to drop bombs <laughs> on <laughs> anyone? They'll let's drop a bomb not, on you. Let's not drop bombs. How about yeah, that? Right. That's How about good. peace on earth? Love your brothers. Unless love everybody. Unless you're in the As ring. yourself. Yeah, then drop bombs. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. haymakers. Yeah. yeah, and or, or on stage with Agnostic Front. Then, there you go. Then drop. That's, yeah, what, yeah. that's and, the bomb and right that, there. That's the thing, because that's what you guys are getting that aggression and that shadow side. I miss it. Of yourselves out in that realm. Oh, I miss it. You right? have no idea. 40 years. This is the first time in my life I haven't toured right. know, for a, a lengthy bit of time. Yeah. Even when Roger went to jail. I still got with Manball. Oh, yeah. right. So I still was touring. Yeah, I was still yeah. playing clubs. Yeah. Yeah. I was still going out to bars, restaurants, yeah. you know, hanging around, studios, you know, doing what I got to do with my friends, you know. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. You know, there was something to do. Right. Now, you know, you're doing isolated podcasts over here. Yeah. I'm wearing a plastic bag on my head, everybody out there. <laughs> Could you imagine that? I can't hardly breathe in here. I want a t-shirt that says, I have the antibodies. Yeah, that's a good one. Fuck right? your mask. How's that? 
Uh, <laughs> oh, these guys. I, I like that one. Fuck your uh, bash. Now nah, you took it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just said I have the antibodies. Yeah. So yeah. That's different than fuck I'm your bash. I'm not an anti mask yeah. no, no, I, I got it on right I now. I always, I me always, too. I go running and like my way of doing it is I run. No right. one's around me. It's down. Soon as I'm like within sight of somebody, I put it up yeah. and and just out of respect. Out of respect. Even yeah. even and though for their wallet. E- even yeah, <laughs> even though I have the antibodies and I know I've already you know I do it because out of respect to, for their I mean, feelings. It's not you that know. big of a fucking deal. No, I I, I and mean, I'm not all hate yeah. on it. It's yeah. like, no, I do the it's same no big thing. Deal. I understand the whole <sighs> mandate. You have to wear a mask. Yeah, that you know? gets People, weird. I mean, I get it. You know, but it's just like. I mean, you know, in well, general. Well, in a private business, like when we're in the bar over here, we wear a mask. Outside, I'm not wearing outside. a mask. Well, me and Mike walked here without a mask. I, when I walk by people, I put it up, you know. Cause eh, I, I, sometimes. I do. If I'm far enough I, away. I do, you know. But if I'm far enough away, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. If I, or I'll cross to the other side of the yeah, street. Yeah, I get you. I'm, I'm I, I, with you. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a jerk like. about it. No, I'm but I'm also like. not like crazy about it yeah, either. Yeah, right. Exactly. And plus, I also know I have the antibodies. So I actually know I could just have a t-shirt that says I have the antibodies. I'm cool And then just go like yeah. that when I'm, yeah, Instead yeah, yeah. of doing the mask Yeah, like, yeah I got this hey, yeah, combo, I got the antibodies I got the antibodies antibody. yeah. antibody. yeah. antibody. yeah. You needed a superhero Mr. Antibody Yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good idea yeah. Hey 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 That's it I'm making the guy If you yeah. fucking rob my idea I'm murdering you yeah. That's a good I Yeah a And if I see somebody Making an I have yeah. the antibodies t-shirt Same goes yeah. Remember I fucking said it Don't rob my idea Everybody in the whole universe Copyright I have the antibodies. Uh, copyright. Miss Antibody. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Right, cool, right? Maybe we go in business together. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That is a good one. Can I sneak an agnostic front question? Sure. Go forward. <laughs> so when you were playing at A7, you were small. You, you weren't known na- nationwide. How did you, when did you realize or how did you get to the place where, okay, you were doing national tours and you were going to Europe for the first time? Like, how did that happen for you? I'll go back before we went to Europe, like kinda. Uh, the wall was still up in Europe. Yeah. Uh, we were uh, a, a, a tri-state, we were we back, as, we were as far <clears throat> west as Pittsburgh, as far north as- uh, Say as far known. Well, toured. Toured, Known oh, okay. more because, but we went on tour with GBH in 1986, and that was a, a national tour. Then how'd you get on that? Well, my record company put us on that. It was supposed to be the Chromags Agnostic Front to, splitting the tour with GBH. But GBH, uh, I mean, uh, something happened with the Chromags. I don't know what. Yeah. You know. Uh, maybe you get them on a podcast to explain it. We but had, anyway, we've had them. <laughs> anyway, I, I, we separately, t- we took the tour. Right, <laughs> John and, and, we, and, and Harley. Yeah, I love we. It. I, so Agnostic I love Front. The beef. So Agnostic Front took the tour. Right. So we said, "Well, fuck it," and we became very good friends ever with, since the '86 with tour with GBH. Yeah. And then they helped you get to Europe for the first no, time. No, no, we got our, we we had our own on your way. own. Yeah, but but then how do people in Europe again before the internet, the '80s? How how did, phone book? No, but how did word they, of mouth who flyer? Would sh- who would show up at the clubs on your first tour of Europe? How many you people? Asking him, he never dealt with that. <laughs> you weren't Roger. there. What do you know? I know. I, I hate the stories. <laughs> so tell them because I'm trying to I fucking love him Mike, that. man. Roger's the man. That's why know? I brought him here. I think he's my sidekick yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. Roger's um Roger's the man. You know what I mean? Like, he is you know, the man. Let's talk about Roger. He, um, you know, Roger's, I'm taller than Roger. He's a fucking workhorse. I want everybody he's to know cool that. He's cool as fuck, man. Yeah. He's over there working on old cars. Roger, and, oh, forget about it. Give me a One break. Day, he's a workhorse. He's we, awesome. We came Shout out Roger. He'll yeah. watch this, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a big <laughs> fan, day, Roger. You're he cool definitely as... won't. Yeah. He won't? No, nah, yeah, Come it. on. We got his... Uh, nah. Yeah. No, one day we're walking out of like a, like a, a Denny's or a whatever the fuck we were. 
light, and there was a lady with her hood open, and she was, and she couldn't, her car was broke down. Mm -hmm. She was like, excuse me, can you help me? I, I don't know. Me, I can't put a nail in the fucking wall. <laughs> she said, hold on, lady, wait one minute. Yo, Roger! He came, he crawled under that car. I don't know what the fuck he did. Had it working. He got it, he said, hey, but he told the lady, when you, you'll get you where you're going, but when you shut it off, it's going to die. So take it where you want it to go. Right. Uh, fucking guy. Hang cabinets by himself. Hang cabinets by himself? So Any carpenter. You hear me about that? Roger can hang cab. He got the, he got the Z horse. Because that's like a thing. It's like a thing. That's he's a, a thing. I, he's a plumber. I didn't know that He's thing. a licensed lecturer. He's an ace mechanic. The fucking guy. Forget about it. You want to get stuck on the side of the road? You want Roger. Yeah. You know what? Truth. When people come from trouble, when, when, when people <laughs> come, that's no, 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 no. it. When people wait for help, <laughs> when people come from troubled homes, they tend to be good at shit. Yeah, you know, because they, they have no choice. They, but they got to some be. independence they built to in to their let me DNA. Tell you something. Because they ain't he the money, got a work ethic like nobody. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he's the worst. A work ethic that makes me tired. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking workaholic. Yeah. So when you're on tour, he's like. Yeah, he's yeah, the guy. Yeah, he's yeah. the guy that gets it done. You know, yeah, yeah, really yeah. Gets, and know. thank God, and thank God for it. His because you ain't gonna ask this guy. You ain't gonna ask yeah, me. No way. You gotta pull me out of bars some night. Nah. Oh yeah, pull me. How about the alley? I was drinking with the my friends. He uh, called them bums. Hey, that's my friends. They ain't bums. We found them in an alley <laughs> in in England. Like we were like, where the fuck is stigma? We got we, we gotta fucking leave. We gotta we gotta go make the border. We gotta go through. Customs and mm -hmm. stigma is bombed out of his mind, drinking like four bums. He hey, he, he took all the beer from our bus. They're my friends. And gave it to me. That's happened to me before with these too. Bums, yeah. Yeah. calling my friends bums. You yeah. believe that? Yeah. Hey, I'm, what are you, some kind of an elitist? I'm not saying they're bad people. No, no. I'm teasing. You. <laughs> they were bums. I'm sure they were. <laughs> Hey, we're all bummed. Hey, we're all spiritual bummed. You don't get bummed out no, every bum. now and again, right? Bum, 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 we're starting a band, dude, yeah. an acapella hardcore hey, band. Hey, I would have brought my guitar. The fucking, the Yo, I could do that one that we're doing acapella night. The Fuckarellas. Where? We're called the Fuckarellas. I'm in the... Bum, the, bum, nah, bum. Yeah, I, I, I have a band if you want to be in it. Okay. The, the Impersonators. Okay. Yeah. And what do we do? We dress up... We impersonate up at, other... Other <laughs> musicians? Other uh, no, I, I, got, I got a whole list of doo-wop songs. Oh, really? I could do a, a doo-wop night with you guys. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, that we'll do it. That would be good. Okay. We got a couple of guys doing oh my some doo-wop. That would go... Talk about something that will go radical. Oh, yeah. That will go radical. Oh, yeah. We and we're live, going radical, motherfucker. We could live stream like, Look that. at me. I'm smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> what an influence yeah, I am. Right? I think we're gonna you're get a kicked. Bum. We're gonna you're get, a bum. We're gonna. <laughs> you're a bum, motherfucker. You're a bum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk boxing. Okay. What about what do you think of Canelo Alvarez? Oh, uh, I love him. I love him. Oh, he's great, right? I follow, I follow him on the gram. Yeah, he's, I can't believe he's Mexican. He looks yeah. Irish. I know, right? When I first, uh, I was having so much fun the first he's time I saw him boy. fight, yeah. and they told me my trainer told me and and uh, Liz, who I always box with, shout out Liz, uh, um, Alan Vega's widow actually from Suicide. I don't know okay. if you knew okay. Alan Vega. Yeah. Yeah, I box with her. She's who got me into boxing. You got it, awesome, right? Yeah, you know Liz. You know, you know Liz Craig Sitari's big into boxing. Oh, he's really? A boxing coach. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's a big boxing coach. Yeah, but the first time I saw um, him fight, I was just like laughing my ass off. I thought it was so funny right? that he was Mexican because he looks no, Irish no, as he, hell. He's my favorite. Yeah, yeah I'm I love not him. really. The first a, time I saw him was when he fought Mayweather. I, That's yeah. the first time I How's seen that him. He fight. fought a Mayweather. I mean, really? He was a kid. He's yeah. a kid. He's a fucking kid. He's got chunky Mayweather. legs. Yeah. He's got legs. Yeah, he got... The, he his, got legs. His movement is just... He's a horse trainer, too. Yeah. He's a good boy. Excuse me. He's a good boy. But he, had the, he got that dirty test at one point, but he said it was from the meat. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll, know, maybe I'll fuck that. Edit that part out. Who knows? Not yeah, really, yeah. but just pretend you uh, didn't hear me say Hey, that. all I know is chilling. I, I, no, he's dope. He's a yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah, I he, love him. He's a champion. He's I'm a good a big boy. Fan. I'm a big fan. Great I'm a big fighter. fan. I don't know much about boxing, but I know that I can. I even think he I made easy work of his last fight. Easy work. Well, yeah. 
I mean, he's been what? around for a minute well, you too. Know, and people hating on it, but you know what? Like he fought a couple months before that. Yeah. He's got so many, he's fighting Saunders in in, in in a couple of months. I mean, you know, the guy is lining up fights like he's ready to go. Why why are people criticizing it? Uh, people criticize I think people criticize him because he fought a guy the guy the last dude he fought was his Yildum, I forget right. his name. Um I see. Um I think he lost his last fight, but suppose he was a high rank boxer. People are like, oh, he's cherry picking. Yeah, cherry picking. yeah but okay, the, the give guy's the guy a chance too. Give the guy a chance. Exactly. Hey, I mean, so he's cherry play. picking, but you know what? There's always a journeyman out he's there. Got four what about fights Rocky? Lined up this year. There's always a journeyman out Rocky. there. Yeah. Who, who's the guy that, 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 that beat that guy? The journeyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, come the on. The guy. Beat the guy. The beat the guy. You know I know. The guy. I know exactly who he's talking about. I know you know. I know. Yeah, the Mexican. Yeah, and he lost the next. And he lost the next. He didn't train hard enough. Oh, Andy Ruse. Andy, yeah, yeah thank you, beat, thank um, you, Joshua, Joshua which was, was an like, amazing fight. That was like, a, that was ah, uh, that's like. Hey, it's always a journey, man. I, I think Joshua to get just, to the top of the I don't mountain. Know, you know, he, that's just, what it's wasn't about. His night. No, it wasn't he his night. Caught, and everybody gets caught. Yeah, you know what I mean. He, he was caught. probably overconfident, yeah, and and and, he got and, and Ruse caught is amazing. He got dropped. He's actually an amazing he, he, boxer. He really is. And so, you know, you you know, he's he's still he's still present in the yeah. scene. He's I like, mean, oh, he's all got I got pay per view event coming up yeah. soon. Yeah. All I got to yeah. say, tonight's not your night. You know. Yeah. I could have got a one way ticket to Palooka for tonight. Tonight's your night, bro. My you know, I could have. I carried that I guy for three been rounds. Somewhere. I could have been somewhere. I could have been. Well, a contender. You were my brother. You, right you there, were, you go. You were my brother. All right. I could have been a contender. You were my brother. You should. I carried that guy for four rounds. You should have taken care of me. I could have knocked him out any time I wanted. That reachable. Yeah, no, no, it's Marlon Brando waterfront. on the waterfront. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Jersey. Man, so good. It's the best movie yeah. ever. I don't see it. A friend of mine has. You a... should have taken care of me. I was. Yeah. You, you were my brother. It's awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, I just watched it. No, it's like the. It's incredible. What's the name of the movie? Marlon Brando on the waterfront. On the waterfront. Oh, Come that's on. What I'm when a I, young guy. When I worked on the docks. When I worked on the docks. When I worked on the docks, that was like on the waterfront. Oh, yeah. Trucks backing up. Trucks getting hijacked. Guys yeah. catching beatings, betting yeah. numbers, drinking, finding themselves drunk in a truck. Right. It was different back then. Yeah. Here I am, a punk rock, a fucking lipstick on me, a fucking man bleeding, pierced, <laughs> earrings, tattooed. And just the crazy thing. No like, shirt. East Village, like is like a bombed out town. Like how, yeah. how psychedelic so was that? so bombed out. How, how psychedelic was it to live in that Vibe. I loved it because I God. I live I'm very urban. Yeah. I I love urban. I love rooftops, hallways, cellars mm -hmm. because all my life my clubs like when I was a kid, 12 years old, we make a club. It's always in a basement in New York City right. because in the winters it's cold and uh uh, there's a heat, the, the, the boiler down there. So there was always rooms we could go to, you know? To get warm. Yeah, you know, and that, but I used to have rehearsal spots and clubs. We put a TV down there, a couch. Right. You know, I mean, there you go. It's a clubhouse. Yeah. And every, almost every building, in, not every building, but buildings in my neighborhood had that. Yeah. You know, like the, the, a couple, my building, I had mine. Yeah. You know, I used to have my band play down there. And before that, it was my grandfather's. He used to, like, make wine down there. Now, when I first went down there in, like, the 60s or, or like, late, you know, uh, I, I, I seen his wine press down there. Wild. Yeah, yeah, the wine barrels. How was the wine? I, I ha later on, I, I, I don't know. You don't know. He yeah, made I, wine in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, but now I drink wine. Like, you know what I mean? I took the wine classes and all that bullshit. But you know what? I know good wine. Yeah. I don't need a fucking wine You're class. You're sommelier? Yeah, yeah I'm no sommelier. <laughs> I'm yeah. no bourgeois. I'm no sommelier. What about your thing with birds? Birds. You that's on the waterfront, oh, too. I, I know, yeah. On the waterfront, they got the pigeon. What a pigeon they got in there. The yeah. pigeon coops. The pigeon yeah, coops. Pigeon. What is that about? Well, you know what? New York. When, you, when the internet goes down, yeah. you be calling me. To send some You need mail. a homie yeah. pigeon. Yeah. That's a homie pigeon, baby. Yeah. But that yeah. was a thing that's in New York? That's a thing, yeah. That's still a thing. Don't kid yourself. Really? Yeah, because now they put trackers on them. Mm -hmm. And they put, like, because there have been pigeon races for years. 
like there's clocks that you clock, you, you bands from the pigeons. There's things you got to do to like be in the race and everything. Mike Tyson was a pigeon guy, right? But yeah. I heard you talk about different pigeons. Are those pigeons different than the pigeons you see on the street? Every- oh yeah, they're different. Those are rock pigeons. Like as a matter of fact, I got a picture on my my phone today. Doves come to my my window. Really? Because they're they're ducking a hawk. Ah. So they come into the lower. A hawk won't come that low. Right. He'll pick them off at the sky. Right. But he won't come that low. How come some pigeons cost so much money, like $1,000? Well, hey, like- wait a minute. Ronaldo, the pigeon, Ronaldo. <laughs> the, the, the pigeon's name's Ronaldo. He's over a half a million dollars. Really? He has, Ronaldo. Yeah. Ronaldo, I love this guy. He has his own maid. Where is it? Where is he? Uh, a Chinese guy. Also. Elon Musk has him. Yeah. yeah right. a Chinese guy. He's going to make him electric soon. Yeah. <laughs> really? No joke. Yeah, you know, plug him in somewhere. You talk about a fucking pigeon. AI pigeons coming to a theater near yeah. you. Does Some it, people think pigeons are AI already. There's yeah, conspiracies no, you could about like that. Put, you know, you could put dust on them. You There's know, lights. about everything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, you could put spy dust on them, chemicals. You know, I you could I love you could infect thing. people. I, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, you they're know. fun. Can we <laughs> not? Can we not talk about conspiracy theories without yeah. being called a whack job, for <laughs> instance? Like, can't we just, well, like, talk what? about, you like, certain reality, things? Like, like I can say. we question things yeah. without being called a because moron? you know what? There's a little... I don't know. You know what I mean? I like, Kunan. Hey, Kunan. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I, didn't, I thought that was arthritic medicine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I take Kunan twice a day. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You know, I think there's a little truth to everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, these things don't just come from fucking nothing. No. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they try to tie a lot of crazy shit together, and I'm like, ah, uh, okay, you know, yeah. all right, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's a little truth. It's like with anything. You just could take like it I too said. far. You could take it too far, but at the same time, yeah. it's like we should be allowed to question things yeah, without should. being yeah, like, no without well, being yeah, deplatformed. Like, we can't like. Hey, agnostic. Right. Yep. Front. Yeah. Agnostic question. Front point of view. Yeah. Right. That's what I was trying to say about. Nice. Uh, now I get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. A statement. Agnostics to be in doubt. Yeah. Whether it's religion, uh-huh. political, right. social. To, not, to be agnostic is yeah. like, uh, yeah, okay. Front is your how you believe, yeah. your point of view, what you stand by. Right. Yeah. And I think like nowadays. And that's like, like doubt your point of view. Sorry. This, yeah. this, 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 I mean, especially now with the internet. There's so much out there that you could find. Yeah. You could find anything. Anything and, you want to believe in. Yeah. You'll fucking find it out there. Are you going again? Yeah, baby? right over there. <laughs> Take another look. I'm right yeah. back. Keep talking, my guy. Le- got the leaky Everybody lizard. Everybody, it's my guy. The leaky lizard. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know what I'm trying to say is like, I think you, it, 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 especially now with the sources that they have now. And, that we could just, there was none of that back fucking 20 yeah, something years yeah, ago. Yeah, the moon landing. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. That you know kind of I mean? thing, like, like looking at the footage of that, it's like, okay, um, okay. Yeah, like, it could have been I like mean, a cardboard cutout. You know, like, like, you know what I mean? like, like, I'm not saying it didn't happen, yeah. but I'm just saying when you look at it, it's a little like, hmm, okay. <laughs> it's like, like a lot of things that are happening. <laughs> it's a little, hmm, it's, it's okay. Just, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm really, not saying it didn't happen. I'm just, I just, I, just saying. I, listen, I, I'm okay. not a conspiracy theorist, but when you really think about the moon thing, it's yeah. just bananas. Well, then why they, haven't we been back? That's the main well, thing. No, like, what? What? As a videographer, and and today with Wi-Fi today, they were broadcasting. Yeah. And like, and it's, they sent up this thing with computers that maybe had like a kilobyte of memory. And have you? Yeah. And have you and, seen? And the signal came in. And, and have you seen like, the ship that? went to there i mean it doesn't look <laughs> I mean, that robust let's just say it doesn't look i'm talking the broadcast it just aspect does, of it, it just in doesn't look let me just whatever. say it just doesn't look that robust if right. you really just look at it and go okay that went there and back maybe they just got lucky maybe they got lucky yeah. i'm not saying maybe it didn't happen lucky. don't cancel me you just know, saying when you look at it doesn't look that robust you, you know what's really crazy <laughs> that's if, it if you, <laughs> like, if you think about it <laughs> We will never know the truth, really, about anything. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. Isn't that pretty fucked up? Well, if you just think it. about that. It's wild, but yeah. It, you know? Well, you got to also question all the things that you just take, uh, like, because that's what you've been told the whole time. Yeah. 
and then like you know investigate that and what's wrong yeah. with investigating that? nothing at all you, you don't, and then you, you you get prosecuted if you investigate stuff and you're like oh where are you getting that's where are you get info from and right i don't know this guy's getting this info from there this guy's getting this info from there and right you know who who knows what's real who knows what's the fucking well, just the violent you know, reaction is the violent reaction you get when you question things is also suspect. Why so? Yeah. Why so up in arms? I if, know, right? If, like, like why? Really? Why like, so why? up in arms about questioning things? Yeah. Like why? Uh, that's so, what we're supposed to be that's about, also right? Like kind of like suspect. Like why? If if it's if it's if you're if we're locked into a perspective, then it should be. Um, yeah tough enough for questions yeah yeah no and, and investigations right, and, yeah, and, yeah. and wonderings of the mind you know it's a real it's, i tell you it's a funny i tell you what it's a funny time is because i never spent so much fucking goddamn time with myself right you know what i mean like and like all i do is like something you talk to yourself and you're thinking about this so uh, every issue that's going on in the world and you go over it in your head and you try right. to think about how this person thinks about it. You try to think about how that person thinks about it. And, you know, this person gets this info from there. This person gets this info from there. You, 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 it's like... You, you go down rabbit you know, hole. You go down a rabbit hole. Don't worry yourself. Fuck no, no, that rabbit, shit. No, not, not in a bad rabbit not hole. Not in a bad rabbit hole. No, no, I'm no, just I'm, saying in No, general, rabbit holes are fun. I love, thinking, I love you know? going down rabbit holes. You know, and They're it's like, fun. Who the fuck? Conspiracy. Who do we believe? <laughs> yeah. Who's got the real answers? Well, Tesla said we, we live in a this realm. This guy thinks that. This guy thinks that. This, you know, that this is a realm. Do you have I've been to his birthday yeah. party recently. Who? I got one Tesla. Little girl. One? Tesla? Yeah. Elon Musk, you mean? No, Tesla, Tesla. You, the, 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 the old guy. Yeah, the old guy. You went to his birthday? Yeah, they had a birthday in Long Island. Uh-huh. Because he had the, the plant out there with the... Oh, you know, really? The thing? Yeah. So they had a... Bir- I had a piece of birthday cake I still got. That's neat. Yeah, yeah, whatever. A couple what? of, a he co- liked pigeons too, though. Back yeah. to the pigeons. He no. was he was in love with no the way. pigeon. Nikola yeah. Tesla. Nikola Tesla yeah. lo- Nikola was in Te- love with the Don't pigeon. Don't call him a bird brain. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's a, that's a good one. No, because yeah. he understood. What did he understand? He know, you, all right. A, 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 a song of a bird, like, let, let's say that. Okay. I can't whistle right guy because I'm dry. Because of clearly, but <laughs> <laughs> clearly you're not the whistler in agnostic Mike front. Up. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> all right. He's the whistler. All right. <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right. All right. All right. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Whistle song. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now he right. that is like a symphony if you map it out musically. Right. Yeah, so when someone calls you a bright, bright brain, that's a, eh, it's that good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Tesla fan? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I bet his birthday party, like yeah. I told you. And there was a couple of astronauts. Was he spoke. alive for that party? No, no he was dead a long time ago. I, I think that's, was, why I was, that's why I was confused yeah. at no, first. That's I why I said Elon Musk. No, no, I think it was his 125th birthday. Right, right. It was his 125th birthday. On Long Island, I went to the thing, you know, where he put the tower, <laughs> and uh, oh, I, a it. couple of astronauts spoke. Mm. Uh, I met Mike. Neil uh, Mike. Uh, <laughs> Mike. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> I met the Italian guy, Mike. Uh, he's from Long Island. Uh, he every year. Buzz Lightyear. Mike yeah. Massimino. <laughs> Mike who? Mike Mashimino, the astronaut. You know him? <laughs> no. Mike like, Piazza. He, yeah, I know him. He does like kids, like, ash, like for Disney. Oh, He's yeah. like the, the happy astronaut. Right. I met him there. He was there for the, uh, Tesla's 125th mm. birthday. Amazing, yeah. And he spoke. And we were all, you know, we watched speakers. So you pay a few dollars. Yeah, buy a few. fuck you want It was there. great. It was That's something, so to do. something to do. You know what? I, I went to his apartment, like, and he would only stay... Yeah, uptown a little bit. Three times around the block. Yeah, or and he would only stay in rooms and uh, with addresses w- that were all divisible by three. Yeah, Who? like he Tesla. Tesla. He was like super. Like the numbers mattered he so much to him bl- because, like, of uh, like somehow you could manifest like more creativity w- in relation to certain numbers and stuff like that. Like really the triad. Just, and he was like a celibate too. Like he believed in keeping all of his sexual energy towards his creations wow yeah he was like i didn't know that yeah that's why he was in love with a pigeon 
That yeah. was his. Oh, that was wow. his object of love. Yeah. Apparently, I don't, I don't know. I touch myself now, yeah. so. When I look around, I touch myself. That's Remember uh, that song? No, but it's Vin- Vindels. I think. Vincent the Vendels. No. Hey, the Vendels. Vinny, when you were growing uh, up, what music were you listening? Doo wop. Uh, there was doo wop. There was a, a lot of. Uh, 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 the, the, what's the what's the girl? Stop in the name of love. Uh, before Mozart. you break my heart, Diana Ross. Oh, it was Diana Ross. We just Ro- killed that harmony yeah, right yeah, there, there, dude. Yeah. Well, he ain't singing with the doo band, is he? <laughs> uh, maybe, come back? maybe we got to get him right, in it. Yeah, maybe, yeah, right. maybe it's we're time doing, for Ahu to like. We're doing it. Step out. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Get on the other side of the camera. There you go. Yeah. Well, you're in. You're in. Remember, once you're in, you can't get out. And you might be the so leader. You remember that. Wait, so Otherwise, you get it, you get out the hard way, you know. Don't try to put this back on track. No, no, no. <laughs> no, <way. laughs> I, no but I want to know what what that was. Was that what you wanted you to pick up a guitar and start? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, what, what were your what, that, real my, influences? Yeah, that's a good question. Right, good my, job, Ahu. When I was a kid, keep this shit on track. Was Frank, <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. If anyone's even listening at this because point, because I'm from oh, the neighborhood. Frank, Frank from Sinatra. The okay, that's I, that's I'm from a big the neighborhood. That's Frank a big Sinatra. one. I remember when I was a kid, I went to school and I put a bunch of band aids around my stomach and I told this girl Donna that I really liked <laughs> that, like, yeah, Frank Sinatra was in the neighborhood. And, and like they tried to stab him, and I stood in front of him, and I got Are you kidding? I swear. You came up with this. Shit? I was like seven this years is amazing. old. Nice. Wow. I was like seven. How old was she? That's the best Six? thing I've ever. Heard. I don't know. That's the best thing I've ever heard. You yeah. made up a stabbing. Oh yeah. Frank in Sinatra. front of Frank Sinatra. Yeah, at Frank. seven. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Life. You know. I could call him Frank now. Right? They broke yeah. the mold when they made oh, this guy. Man. So you loved him. <laughs> so I like Frank. I like Enrico Caruso. They break the fucking mold. Yo, I like Enrico Caruso. You ever listen to an Enrico Caruso? No, I've never heard of him. <sighs> First of all, the crackles in the record. Yeah. Cause he's from 19, 1890s, 1901, around there, and the and he s- sings the real Napolitano, real opera, right. the way it's supposed, like the real like tragedy of the and you and you hear it, and he was one of my influences. Bruce Lee was an influence because I like tough guys. Yeah. You know, like Charles Bronson, Bruce Lee. I love Jimi Hendrix. Me too. Ah, there Jimmy, you go. Carlos Thank Santana. You know. Yeah. Those yeah, two too, guys me I too. like. Yeah, Black Magic Woman. But, but f- first, Jimi Hendrix. Because, right, definitely. You know, he was my idol. What about Eddie Hazel? Who's that? I don't know. Him. Funkadelic? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maggot I, Brain? I, I don't listen know. Listen to Maggot yeah, Brain. Okay. Go home and listen to Maggot Brain. It's a 10-minute long okay. guitar solo. It's the most breathtaking thing ever. But anyway, keep going. Yeah, anyway, but you know, these are my guys that I like. So Hendrix made you want to pick up the guitar. Yeah, he made me. And then the, the, my uncles and, and I, my own self, wanted to learn how to do this thing. Right. You know, this is a, a, a challenge. Yeah. You know, you're born with a vocal box so you can learn to sing. Right. It's always with you. It's always inside you. Yeah. It's how you take care of it. Oh. I told my friend one time, he puts a pillow over his face and he does that. And like when he does the, oh. I says, why you do that? He says, I don't want to annoy everybody. I says, yeah, but you're fucking annoying anyway. So it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Zoli, my friend Zoli from Ignite, the greatest singer in the world, my vocal coach. Wow. Thank you. Anyway, Enrico Caruso was one of my heroes. Bruce no, Enrico Lee. Palazzo. Hey, Enrico Palazzo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So do you take vocal lessons? Never. But you just told <laughs> me about your a... vocal coach. No, that's Zoli. He's a friend. Oh, he's, he's a friend. He's, he's in Ignite, a band. Uh, he's a great singer. The kid. Uh, cool. He, a, oh, he, he, he can belt it out. And he's a, the pillow thing might not be a bad idea because no, then, it's not. Then it's like it's like training. It yes, makes you tougher. It is, but I'm I'm joking about him. Yeah. No, I got it. You know, because hey, you know, you don't know anybody till you go on tour with them. That's, That's true. true. Yeah, then you go on tour with them, you want to fucking choke them. Mm. That's most people. Did you guys ever tour with buses or is it vans? Combination. Both. 
both, yeah. Both, Isn't yeah. it great when you get back on the bus? It's nice. Because I flip flop back and oh, forth yeah. between those realities. Nice. And when I'm back on the bus, I'm like, I'm back on the bus. I'll yeah, call well, Ehud. I'll be like, I'm back on the bus. Well, bro. it depends. Like if I'm doing like a like a ten day tour, I'll I'll do a van. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So what? Yeah. You know, we're not in that kind of category, or whatever. But uh, if I'm doing a two monther, it's yeah. got to be a. It's oh, got to be a yeah. bus. It's got to be a bus. Yeah. 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 It's actually like cost effective too because you don't have to have hotels. No, no, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and then if like, you're out that whatever. long, yeah. If you're out long enough, you're out three weeks, four weeks. It gets yeah, wild but, sleeping in the bunks and all. Yeah, that but shit. you know what? Sometimes you know you get backstage. It's a cold backstage. People are back there. Yeah. You can't sleep. You go you know to the bus. I mean? yeah. You go to the bus. You have your home all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. like I love it. I love. I it sleep too. better on the bus than I do at home. Yeah. I don't. Oh, I do. No got, way. Yeah, Fuck does. that. With your feet towards the road. Oh, oh With yeah. With your feet towards the road because that way if the bus stops, you don't want to hurt your neck. Right. You don't want to do a Gloria wait, stuff. Wait, wait. Which way do you sleep? You sleep with your feet towards the road. So yeah. if towards the, bus, the driver. Towards yeah. the driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would it, be the other. Uh, no, 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 you no. wouldn't because if the bus stops, your neck is fucked. Is that me? Yeah, it's you. Fuck? Come on, Vinny. Oh, come Vinny, on. stigma. It's Roger. It's Roger. It's Roger. Pick up. Matsu. Matsu uh, Yatsu. What was the worst tour you guys were on? What? Why are you going to bring us down, Poppy? I'm curious. <laughs> the worst tour? Yeah. What about the best tour? Know. That'll be the next question. That'll be the follow-up. That's the no, follow-up? Okay. All right. Don't, don't, listen, you know what the worst tour is? When you're on tour and you get the flu. Oh, yeah. That, that sucks. sucks. Yeah, yeah. That. And then everyone gets it? Well, then everyone gets it, but when you get it, you're in, you know, that's the only thing I pray for when I'm on tour. I don't even care if I get the, the flu at home. Yeah. I like to say, no, I'm at home. Right. But when I'm on tour, and then you got to go on stage and, oh, you, you gotta know. you got to do it. You know, you got to, you know. No, oh, I've been there a few times. You got to do it, you know. It's kind of tough. You got to just fucking man up and just yeah. fucking do And then it. you go back to your bunk and you die. And <laughs> you die. Yeah. <laughs> That's the military level of it. That's and then, why God you, forbid, you don't have a bus. Yeah. You got to wait in a, in a van, cold van, I because remember, it ain't running. Yeah. And you got to wait for everybody to load out and to go to some hotel no, 100 that. miles away. Mm-hmm. And then by the time you check into the fucking hotel, you die. You know, you're dead. <laughs> you you're, they carry you to the stretcher. Or what about when you play in Europe sometimes and after you play, it's gonna it turns into a club, so you have to like load out with all like the club people coming oh, in. Oh yeah. That uh, shit. I had a van I had a, a bus. I had Elvis Presley's 1961 tour bus mm-hmm. from Europe, and we had this punk rock guy. We called him the Colonel because he had like all these buttons on his jacket, like a punk rock guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, the bus, you could start it, but it wouldn't go. So we used to call the whole crowd from the club out to the, to the, the, to the bus <laughs> to kickstart it, like push it. That's and everybody would push it and then it used to make the lap like the the victory lap with all the, the smoke behind it yeah. like the pollution like like you tried to put it in first to, to, oh to my deal. god it was so great and it was Elvis's and every night we used to do that that's amazing that's incredible Good thing you played a good show. What? Imagine if you bombed and the crowd oh, yeah. didn't like yeah. you. That, that got people were there to help us push that bus, <laughs> kickstart that bus. Yeah. Are you guys psyched that you have like maintained so much popularity? Well, you know, you got to be in it to win it. Yeah. Kinda. Is this me again? Jesus yeah. Christ! What the fuck? Who's this? Show up where the where the. Hold on. Let me see who's show calling up, me now. Up, yeah. Pick up, it up. Show up. Don't pick it up. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, sir. I'm calling from Matsu, sir. You order for delivery this afternoon? I ordered earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So you, you got the food right, sir, right? I just want to make sure. You got the food right? Yes, we got the food. Thank you. And, okay, you got, and you gave the cash for the delivery guy? Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. You, all right. You. That's, I had sushi <laughs> tonight. Okay, that's the weirdest call I've ever heard. I mean, yeah, yeah, like... Yeah. I think they're who checking does, up on me, these motherfuckers. Who, who does that? I don't trust I've them. I've never... Like, Matsu. Really? Wait, you... <laughs> You You're ordered, like, about you guys you ordered like four days ago, right? Like, <laughs> just want to make sure you just got that food. Sure. <laughs> I already shit it out, hey, how, did it, how did it sit with you? Did you, I, you, know, did you sh- enjoy no, it? No, like, it's I like, mean, how are you feeling? It's like, yeah. hey, just wanted to check in. Yeah. I mean, I, you the know, cook like, has diarrhea. Yeah, how are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Just checking I in. I think I got the COVID again. Just doing a check I can't touch myself. Oh, my God. 
just checking in. So just you believe that <laughs> fucking like, phone call? Has, has, you, has that twice? ever happened before? Never in my life. <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad it was on the radio. Oh my uh, god! Pocket, whatever. The fuck I don't think we people are. would believe that, like yeah. unless they heard it. So yeah, I'm glad it was. <laughs> Everybody, I had sushi today. I had <laughs> shrimp tempura. I had uh, 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 eel, uh, eel, Un- and, and salmon. Unagi. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was good. It was white. Yeah. It's right downstairs from me, like like ten feet away, and I still order it. I said, "Yeah, let me be like a fucking yuppie," because I knew <laughs> I had to come here tonight. And I didn't want to cook. Then I gotta clean. Then I gotta cook. I gotta go home, dirty dishes. I hear ya. Yeah. I Fuck, that's all that. I do is cook and clean. I gotta go home to dirty dishes. <laughs> <laughs> me too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. <laughs> I didn't eat. I forgot to eat. I went on a run. I ran six miles today. Ah. Yeah. I hate running. I love it. I love you. Get runners high. Yeah, yeah you get the runners yeah, yeah. high. You talk breathe. to yourself while you're running. You just do like the breathing. I do it's that. Like, it's a breathing meditation. Do you? Yeah, do you, I talk. I do you to, meditate? I talk to myself. Yeah, I'm there. I'm everywhere. What do you say to yourself? Uh, whatever. Like I could be like you know, like you know, on the mountaintop, or I could be like in the grocery store. And what do you say? I don't give a fuck what I say. I'll say anything I want. <laughs> it's a free country, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I want to know what your mind is, I, Vinny. I, I, I'm I, trying to access your mind. I can't wait to get this fucking run over with so I can go up and take a shower. I never meditate. Uh, that's the thing. I, always, I need a shower. You should try it. It's not Think easy. You it. say you should try it. It's not easy because like, what's hard about there's it no is manual. What's hard about it is you're identifying with your thought forms all the time, and and so that's an addiction in a way. Yeah. But but you are not your thoughts. What you are is you're talking to you're somebody the, you're else. You're the you're something. the witness of your thoughts. Yeah. You're not the thoughts. You're the screen. You're not the movie on the screen. So you're the witness of your thoughts. And so what it does, meditation is an opportunity to access that sort of self that you actually are which is the witness. So you witness your thoughts and, 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 and that's like where it's at. It's, it's actually, and that's what's great about it because it's a relief from the fucking thoughts, Yeah, man. you get like out of yourself. I know. Right, like, it's like Even if you're vegan, having a you good know? thoughts, it's like thoughts are just <laughs> yeah, how boring. Many times it's like, about it? uh, like, I hate, I just like, shut up. Yeah, and it's like, go it's figure, basically like yeah, it's basically like shut up to yourself, you know. Yeah, yeah I, need to, I need to shut the fuck up. Then right, I'm meditating, and it's good for you because then never... good ideas come in, like mm. you get new inspirations. It just it elevates your whole existence. It's it is a discipline. I'm not gonna pretend like it's easier. I do it all nah, the time because I fall yeah, out of I it don't too. Do it. I, I, but I, I did yeah, it today, right. like, and yeah. I'm like, I, I was very into it, and I know yeah. what you're talking. About. It's great. And, yeah. and now on YouTube, there's so many like guided meditations. I, yeah. I put one on today. Yeah, I I'm, was candle gazing the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a real one. Yeah, I know. Staring into the fire. Yeah. What were you doing? I was being very primal. Yeah. <laughs> See, you're trying to make fun oh, of I it, could, but you were going deep. Oh, I could go deep. Yeah. Because you know what? I'm Italian. I'm very spiritual. We I, get it. I live with the dead. Yeah. I know what it is. I get it. Yeah. I don't need fucking like three gang, three grain rice over. I eat by uh, by uh by microbiotic food. Right. And then I, but I've been eating that all my life. Yeah. I'm talking about fucking mushrooms and olives yeah. with olive oil and, and like uh, olives and mushrooms and spinach and, 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 and mushrooms and, and olives and like all the and you you like the even olives. the grains Lots of olives and, and mushrooms even the semolina <laughs> breads even the semolina. <laughs> Look, you sided me on those spiritual <laughs> shit, motherfucker. No, but I love it. I want you to keep doing that. But like, so how does that equate to like staring into the fire? I don't know. Very primal. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> With the no, I, I, no, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Because it's all, it's all fr- of nature. He's of nature. He's, it like, is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. That's a cool one, though. I don't do that. I should try that. The yeah, staring no, the it's fire. good for your uh, the eyes. Uh, yeah. Uh, sight wise. Do you ever sun gaze? No. I but do. I'm gazing right now into that light. Like, yeah, that blah, one's blah. not probably good yeah, for you. Yeah, I know. But sun gazing is actually kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know that one. Well, that's that where you sun your you, asshole? Oh, there's that one too. Yeah. I, I haven't dealt with that one yet. <laughs> yet. I mean, What's let's, that let's, say, let's you, say yet. You, I don't know. You, you swat, I'll thing. try anything you, once. No, it's a you thing. sniff up the string no, and cough it no, out. No, it is a thing. No, I know. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about sun gazing, though, where you like right before the sun... Like the first hour the sun is up, you okay. you can like especially right at dawn, right when it's sunrise hits, 
you can gaze right at the sun and it doesn't hurt your eyes. Okay. By the way, I'm not a doctor and don't right. like don't don't, <laughs> don't, don't listen to anything yeah. I no say. Way, I'm a, no. I don't know what I'm talking We're about high, at no all. Minors. I'm just talking yeah. to my friends here and but don't listen to this as uh, advice. Yeah. But I'm just saying I have done it and and it does give you energy. And if, if you if you did it in the middle of the day, it would hurt you, it would burn right, your okay. retina. But if you do it early, right. it's the same thing as gazing yeah. at the fire. It's sure, like that sure, kind sure. of just candle gazing. And, right, and, it, yeah. and it's just like saying hello to the day that comes up. Like right. if you can actually start your day like that, it's mm. kind of an incredible uh, you jump into a cold pool. I you do you do the Wim Hof thing? You know, the cold pool, yeah. the hot pool. Yeah. After a while you go from one to the other, you don't even feel it. Right. Yeah. It's weird. I've done it. Yeah. I mean, first you go to the house, and then you go to the cold. You keep going back. It's like, I'll go into anyone right now. Right. Okay, how cold it is. Yeah. It's just your body is so alive. <clears throat> it's great, that stuff, man. Yeah, do you, do you know the Wim Hof thing? You know the like, cough, the, the sniff, the, cough, the string? And I don't do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I throw up. When Should I do, I do that? that? I don't know. You got how's your nose? You, well, you got a Roman nose. It roams all yeah, over your rums, face. Yeah, you know? I got one. Yeah, I got, I got I, a Roman I nose. I identified with that yeah. joke, by the way, early yeah. on. I was like, oh, he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but do you, have you ever done the the breathing thing? Like oh, the I Wim always Hoff suppress thing? my breathing. Yeah. And like that whole like, but when breathing, shut it down, breathing when lots yeah. of, lots of air in. Yeah, and I then, always I talk. To, I talk shit about that. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of yeah or less you know, I try but to I mean just like and yeah lower and lower and lower my pro blood pressure mm. you know? yeah and I, I, I learned a little bit about that from back in the old days where the yeah I let I went to a karate Bruce Lee shit uh, yeah. yeah 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 I went to a karate school Rico guy Fucking black guy used to punch me in my stomach till I throw up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Toughest motherfucker on the planet, this guy. Yeah. Rico guy, you look him up. Rico guy. Yeah. Rico guy. Rico guy. You have a. Thing By the up. way, what a good name, Rico yeah, guy. That's a hard my, name. My name's Rico guy. Yeah, him I, and, don't fuck with me. And my and my <laughs> sensei way. Tony, Big Tony, he was like my first karate. Uh huh. You know. Big Tony. Yeah, yeah, Big Tony. It took five cops to take him down. I used to watch the the who's, old karate movie. Who's Big yeah. Tony? That guy in my name, my first sensei. My first sensei. Oh. Yeah, he was. What? What? Studying what? It was karate. 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 P push ups. I used to go with Nicky. Nicky, you remember? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I used to fucking go. Get, Mike knows the guys from my neighborhood, right? like neighborhood guys. Yeah. I used to go. These were tough guys. Right. I used to go like and do this like karate, like and these were like, you know, like oh, it's just a, what a time in life. Right. In the same building where Jenny is now. Yeah. In that building. Where? What neighborhood? In my neighborhood, Spring and uh, Lafayette. Spring and Lafayette. Yeah. There was the karate school there. Yeah. And then right down uh, down there from there, when it turned into Center Street, Johnny Sapinaro, my idol who from the neighborhood, was like an older stigma, but he played music, but never got out of the neighborhood, like kind of. And he used to only play like the Feast and like stuff like that. And then and he had like- the Italian the, Feast? Yeah. yeah. Was, like, they bring out the It was like the, the big tables. thing for me to do. Oh, I'm playing the Feast. <laughs> How was it really back in the day? Great. I, top of the grease pole right here. How long did you study karate? All my life I've been studying it. Yeah? But on and off. Right. Here and now, then and who cares? Mostly on or mostly off? Mostly off. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, mostly off. <laughs> I'm on right now. It's Chinese New Year, so I'm back in. That's yeah. funny, man. The year of the ox, everybody, hey, just in case you don't know. Could, could you ever live anywhere else than New York City? Me, no. No, I can't. No way. Everybody knows. When I go to, like, anywhere, like Germany, like when they go to the, like before, oh, you're from New York. You know? Like right. Canada. Oh, you're, hey, the minute I talk, they know where I'm from. Right. They say, oh, you're from New York. Like, I'm yeah. like, and I'm proud of that. Why? Because New York's a, uh, the heart of the world, in a way. Yeah. And uh, I got to represent it, in a way. And you got to be good. You got to be tough. You got to be honest. You got to be strong. You got to be original. Yeah. You got to be for real. Right. You can't be afraid yeah. to make the jump. Right. You know, you just got to do it.
Man, that was such a beautiful way you just put that. Why the city is so addictive and hard to leave. Mm. It's so hard to leave. I've been here for everywhere 20, else you go, 25 years, and it's like, fuck, yeah. man. Am I ever going to live anywhere else? But it's like, and I almost try to sometimes. I know. Believe me, I like, go a couple of places. Sometimes when, when I'm on tour, I'm in a village in Germany. I'm like, wow, it's so nice. I, go, I went to a nice restaurant. I drink a good beer. Like I'm in Germany. Right. I smell the brown coal in the air at night. You hear about how yeah, cheap the I rent go, is. Yeah, the, the streets are clean. Yeah. And it's nice. Yeah. But you and gotta I, live there. But you gotta live there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, can, can, can I get Yo. my girl to move over here? Yeah. New and York. then even if I do so, will I be happy there? Right. You know, of course, you need a little action every now and again, yo. And and what do you think of New York now? Like, because the rumor on the street is that oh, it's all fucked up. Like when you hear about it from like the sort of the media, it's it's dead now or it's fucked up. But and the energy actually, in my opinion, feels kind of good here right now. Weirdly, what do you, I mean? Odd, but I'm still feeling a good New York energy. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I guess you I, don't. You know, uh, but. Uh, I don't like the bars closed. I don't like the fucking uh, the the venues closed. I don't like that. No, I don't like that either. So it's not. I'm not feeling good about it. Right. Well, I'm not fucking it's gonna, gonna be accept the same this way shit. Everywhere though, you know. But it's you know, gonna open back up. Fans. And when? April. It's, it's, a, a, it's April. opening. It's, it's okay, opening. Yeah. It's it's starting yeah. to like they actually just yeah just like twenty five percent. City capacity. Winery just told me yeah they're gonna have, be able to hundred plus. Clubs now are 100 plus capacity starting in April, yeah. right? Yeah, April so 2nd. it's opening back up. I, I know what you it's mean. Obviously, time. like it's not as good as when things were open and popping, but I'm saying even amongst all this, right. I still feel yeah. that energy that you spoke I, of so all, eloquently. You know, a, a friend of mine says, uh, I saw uh, uh, he, he was on, they interviewed him for New York One, and he was like, about the opening up, he says, Yeah, you killed me halfway instead of all the way. Mm. Listen, you're going to open up, open the fuck up. Right. Because even if you open up halfway, the restaurants are dying. Right. Yeah, it's you know, true. you're it's talking like about you're talking about right. cooks, chefs, uh, busboys, bartenders. You know, you, we're talking about people, barbacks, yeah. waiters. People you know? owning businesses for years, losing them. Right. It, you know what I mean? It's it, it's you're going to open open the fuck up. Right. Why? You know, people are. We, we're adult enough to know. Right. And, and safe enough to and, and The vaccine's out. Right. Herd immunity's on the rise. Right. I like my T-shirt. You I know, have the energy. Everyone respects each other. Yeah. You know, we get it. Right. No, fair enough. Fuck, man. No, you're exactly right. That's this true. This is a year already right. of it's, our it's lives It's gone. time. It's time. Coming yeah. up on a year, yeah. We ain't yeah. getting any younger. Why, about 10 days? I really... Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Right. Well, it's happening. I mean, I hear you, but it is happening. And so, you know. At schools, how about the parents? Thank God I don't have a young child. But a the poor people, does. like, so you, does you know. Mike, apparently. Right? Yeah. I mean, you guys, right? Well, I mean, yeah, no, my daughter's back in school in person. Okay. And, but it's That's a crapshoot. One day yeah. it's this, the yeah. other day it's that. It's like, how, how are people supposed to hold jobs and have their kids at home and... His wife's right. a teacher. Yeah, she's teaching from home. It's, oh, okay. You know. So, I mean, we're on the ground level here. Yeah. Yeah, no, if I was working in the nine to five, it just, uh, there would, it would be impossible. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah. It it's, would be yeah. impossible. Yeah. Poor people, I mean, like, I just, you know. That's why I thank God, like, you know, I'm in the position that I'm in, you know. Sometimes yeah, me you get too. Down. But there's fucking people out there that are suffering. Yeah, that's there are true. people out there that are suffering. You're right. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people you out know. there that are going through hell. That's true. Really is, you know. Yeah. That's the reality. So it's like you know. Yeah, you have to measure the damage of the reaction yeah. With, yeah. with the danger of the virus. Yeah, you know. And, you know? You, and that needs to be. And again, back to the nuanced conversation. Can we have a nuanced conversation? Yeah, about like that I said, without like going into immediate war mode yeah, against yeah. Right, against right. two different perspectives. No way, because no. the truth is somewhere in the middle yeah, there, yeah. and it's kind of like you encapsulated it. I feel like with what you said, we get it. The masks and be yeah, safe right. and be careful, and the vaccine and the herd immunity. 
Yeah, that, that made a lot of sense. And once you know? again, any, all you kids or anyone out there that's got like a little depression from this, listen, yeah. you'll get through it. Right. You know what? How about this? How about the challenge? Do 20 push-ups. Yeah, 20. How's that? that after you do that 20 push-ups, see 15. how you feel. Then do 15. I think you'll, do, you'll feel yeah. a lot better. And and stand on also, your head if you can. And there's yeah. also, I mean, you Something know, it always... Yeah. We have to go through hard times to get through better times. Yeah. We always do. It always makes... I don't mind going through yeah. hard times, not if it's put upon us. Right. You know, where this virus come from, whether it's from a laboratory or a gem uh, genetically modified right. or, you know, whatever that we don't know. You can't call it this, but you could call it that, but you could call it the German measles, the Spanish flu, mm -hmm. but you can't call it the Wuhan virus. And they had to come flu... Mm. When Obama, I have the poster right. with the little monkey doing like a kung fu thing. Uh, Obama, yeah. the kung fu. You can look it up. I know. It's online. I Not know. that I care. Right. But this is where <laughs> it come from. It originated here. The the virus is here. Yeah. You stub your toe. What you stub? Your finger? No, your toe. Yeah. I actually, Oof. yeah, I mean, I don't, who knows all that stuff. I don't know. You know? I mean, yeah, I hear I heard it. it actually came from North Carolina and then ah. went there. Like, I've heard all kinds of shit. Like, who knows yeah. what the truth is? Yeah. Uh, you know, the, good, the, luck the, good luck finding it. Good luck finding it. Yeah. I, I, I don't fun. know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I'm not going to, like, apologize for the fact that I can say right. I don't know yeah. what it right. is. Right, I hear you. You know? Yeah. But here's I, the thing. I guess, like, you know, back in the day, the Roaring Twenties was, you know, happened right after a pandemic. Right. So hopefully... Yeah. That's I mean, what we're what happened the in work, the Roaring Twenties. There was the you the know. surge, the Great Gatsby. But you know what? I yeah. don't see a Great Gatsby coming. What do you mean? I don't see the, the Great Surge the way the Great Gatsby. Yeah. Was it after that pandemic? Right. I don't see that. Maybe a little bit financially, globally. Well, with crypto, that's you know, an that's an I interesting development I don't too see financially. It like the way it's more homebound yeah. or Americanized. It's going to be more global. Yeah. Well, that, ma think. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And with cryptocurrency booming and so many people, that's like actually giving a lot of people that wouldn't otherwise have opportunity to elevate financially are now getting that. So there is a possibility of that kind of roaring 20s amongst us. I hope, you know, yeah. hey, listen, whatever. I'm just yeah. going to live. To, I'm going to live, 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 live until I die. And that will be killed by death. And that will be killed by death. How did he die? He was killed by death. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Murder by death. That's probably a good place to end it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I you mean, guys are I mean, great. I mean, that was like, what did we do? How long was this one? Two hours, 40 minutes. I mean, like, like, so, I mean, yeah, come on. I mean, Obama. and you sang that song at the end. It yeah, seems like that's yeah. like such a period on the but end. I have, I have one more question. Of course he no, no, does. Oh, this guy, more. this guy always with Last one, one more Last question. One. Of all the clubs, CBs, Maxes, what's the one you miss the most? I think CBs, because it's me personally, because it's the most convenient, the most one I played the most, uh, uh, the one I think that deserves uh, the most recognition, the one that should have been land, landmarked. Landmarked, right. Uh, right. That's true. Uh, Fuck. Hallelujah to How that. How did they not, not do that? I mean, everything Fuck about that, that club... Is. Yeah. For my kid running into it and eating all the man of cherry cherries that were rotten and got a bellyache, to Joey Ramone's uh, robot that my kid destroyed, to the soundboard, to the light basket that I used to like do lights and, you know, like try to do sound. Yeah, just turn it over there. Don't worry. It's all right. The, the bartenders hopping over the bar, bartending, you know, CBGBs. Yeah. Hilly, good guy, my friend, coffee. Drink, the way I hang out with you, coffee. There you go. And you have a piece of the stage at your crib. But yeah, I the, threw it away. Because it had mites. I had my, ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't care. Bro, you should have lacquered it. I don't that. care. You should have lacquered it and care. put it on. Yeah. Kill the mites with lacquer right, and no, put it on I, your I, fucking no, wall. I didn't want to do that. Because then, then you could make an NFT out of it. Yeah. Uh, how did you get the sheetrock? <laughs> no. They, have, they, they fucking closed? ripped it off the wall. Yeah, everybody was taking it. We were just fucking ripping. When, at the very end? At like the last week. Yeah. 
We were there. We were the last. That we were the last matinee. You were, we were ripping. Ripping. Yeah, we were the last we matinee. Actually, I remember last we had matinee. Last matinee. Last matinee. Wow. So we, we were soaring off part of the stage. <laughs> wow. Uh, After the show. <laughs> I, can I say one thing? Yeah. During uh, the show, probably, bro. During Come the on, end. During the show. During the end. Gotta be. That, was a, that was that was a really special week of my life. I remember just like going to all those shows. Yeah, a lot of those shows. I just hate that. Like uh, towards the end, everybody wanted to get their two cents well, in, uh, you know. in there when they weren't there for a thousand years mm. before. Right. So like, kind of. I like, go ahead, get in there, you know. But right. where were you for the last two thousand years? You know, like. <laughs> so it was like that'd yeah. be a good album title. Where were you for so the you last two thousand years? <laughs> See, Jesus carried a cross. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, there, some it guy, there it is. Some there it is. guy. Dude, that's Try. the that's the doo-wop band. Yeah, that's our first yeah, album. Where yeah, were you yeah, for the last yeah, two thousand yeah. years? And that's the album cover. <laughs> do Jesus that, the, oh, man, do well, that. we got the oh, album man. cover uh, and the. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. The, <laughs> I'm in. All right. Histor this is a historical yeah. moment, ladies right. and gentlemen. The, the this is awesome. All right. I want to thank you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. Thank God, you, you guys Vinny. are the thank best. Thank you guys. Wow. You guys are awesome. It was worth the wait. Great interview. It was fun. worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah. Fun as hell. Yeah, sorry I couldn't make it before, and, but you yeah. know. Oh, and is, can people look you up yeah, online? Give You're me your on Instagram. I don't know. Stigma. Stigma Stigma has Instagram that I run. Oh, really? I, I, hardly I love this guy. Cats, Cats out of the back. That's why I brought him. That guy, that guy. So it's Stigma NYC, I think. Mm -hmm. um, mine's Mike Gallo, 1975. And you can also see my art on Gallo. Mike originals. what? Yeah, Mike's oh, cool. an artist Mike now. Mike Gallo, 1975. Oh, Mike Gallo. I thought you said Allen. I was like, no, who's no, Mike no, Allen? No. no. Cool. And cool. that Thank show you, you guys have in April? Thank you, guys. I'm going to go take a leak. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Good night. Calabash. Love you guys. You want. Get... Good night, everybody. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Support us on Patreon and <laughs> like and subscribe. Don't cancel us. <laughs> don't cancel us. We love us. you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, this is Joseph Arthur. Thanks for checking out Come to Where I'm From. Please support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash come to where I'm from. We are an independent podcast and any contributions you can make are greatly appreciated.